I usually commentate ultimate when I'm there. <laughs> Yo, we got Classic is here. Yo, who does Toonie play? I have no, I don't remember. Cause I know Sandy's the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Toonie plays. I, I, I watched him like play last week. Oh, like Mamma Mia! We got a Luigi on the screen. Got both your characters here. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm living the dream right now. Yeah. 
Oh no, Luigi does some uh, some really goofy things to uh, Diddy. D uh, Toonie's a pretty good Luigi, too. But you know, Sandy, of course. You Sandy know. being Sandy. Resident, uh, resident chip player. <laughs> Clanked. Uh, that. Not a dead Luigi. Not he living well. He still has though. his double jump. Oh yeah. Doesn't need it. To oh no! Now he's cooking. Yep. So. Like, but what was he cooking? Um. Good question. He just, instead of wave dashing on the banana, he just oh my that god! That one. He held that. He just walked up to the banana and just grabbed it normally. Oh my god! Did he just walk up slowly to the banana and grab it? He did. Luigi forward tilt is like high key. Kinda of fucking cracked. That move is so fucking long and disjointed, it's insane. Oh my god, the down air beat it the uh, forward smash. Oh the balloon! Oh, the and he smash! hands down the receipt. Okay. Nah, that's the tip please. Five <laughs> percent? Oh did you see that? He used a banana coming down the clank to get him out of the down B uh, whiffing. It was a really smart idea. Smart. Man, Luigi Dampy, Dampy kind of seems obnoxious. Oh, oh no, he doesn't have a double. There. Oh no, oh, he went a little for late. All. He might have gotten that if he did it a little earlier. If he was a little closer, he was just too far away. So I, what I really want to see Toonie do, he's not shooting enough fireballs, and that's very polarizing in this matchup for Diddy. Yeah, not not using the the neutral B. Uh, yeah. I think it's a pretty like underrated move. In this matchup, it's polarizing for Diddy, because, like, it beats Banana, it beats uh, Peanut. Diddy's best options, he can't clank with it in the air. He has to respect it. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, Guess the if, monkey you, flip. if you do a short hop fireball, you can wave land out of it. Is he gonna make it back? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, he's fine. Oh, wow, magnet hands. Yeah, Luigi's magnet hands are absurd. Oh, he's got, oh, watch out. Ooh, oh, the banana wow, banana snipe! Kill. Gotta get the extra potassium. Yeah, now Sandy is in the position to mount up some sort of lead here. Thunder. All right, thunder. all right, charging, the, charging up the thunder. Did, was, that the, was that the thunder voice clip from the from the GBA game? Yes, <laughs> they just remastered it. Thunder. Oh, the Z drop? Why can't Luigi use thunder in Smash Brothers? Um... Something, something third party. Fair enough, fair enough. Didn't that studio like die? Yeah. Uh, the, Nintendo just bought the rights to it. They could have made more Mario and Luigi games. Yeah. These are great. Actually, no, they didn't die. Intelligent Systems does Fire Emblem now. No, don't do that. That was a chop suey. They would have been dead. We're going. <laughs> oh, this is a dead monkey for sure. Oh, wait a minute. That angle. Barrel, like going around flying, is like the funniest shit. I remember back in my day. <laughs> yeah, back had, in my uh, day. It, it would kill. I actually remember getting a kill off someone, <laughs> off it, and winning a set because they they didn't give to me, and I was up a stock. It was even, and he taunted, and the barrel came out of nowhere and smacked him in the face, and he died. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought for sure that was gonna be the misfire. I was praying. It probably wouldn't have killed either, but like. It would have been funny. It would have been. It would have put uh, Toonie in a better position than he was currently. Yeah. Because now he's also um. He, if that were to hit, which it didn't. Oh no. Wait a oh, minute. Oh no. Oh that angle. Sandy makes it back though. Yo, Sandy's angles are insane. That was actually a really good grab from Toonie. Yeah, that was just amazing. <laughs> Toonie's Ooh. like still All in a right. really good position, honestly. Yeah, even at low percents, you just uh, just SDI up and uh, you just uh, can just nair, nair and pray. Nair will kill eventually too, right? Oh, like absolutely. Off the top. Although... Sandy's just not letting him in though. Yeah, I like the more defensive play coming here from Sandy, Ooh, except... Uh, that hurt! Luigi's like your check, sir. <laughs> He's even wearing the suit from, it's, the, it's, from uh, the Mario <laughs> DS... Uh, Mini game? Yeah, here's uh, here's your tab, sir. <laughs> it was so big, it just killed him. He saw the price, and it instantly, it, 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 Diddy dies. So, 
if I actually would have banned MD. Oh, is it what? Oh, really? I I don't think I've actually ever seen the Sandy Fox. I didn't know Sandy had a fox. I thought it was Solo Diddy. I'd like to imagine many Diddy players also have some sort of a pocket spacey, but like, this will be interesting. Yeah, Luigi, uh, Luigi Fox is definitely a little bit harder than Luigi Diddy. Yeah, it's Fox gonna be just a... has better buttons than Diddy does. But there's Luigi. But you also after gotta, all. and you're also Fox, so you gotta realize you're, yeah. you've entered glass cannon mode. You, and you better be able to cannon. You have to DI every move properly, otherwise that happens. Because Sandy was DIing correctly, but he got hit with the the back hit up up air, so he went just in Luigi. Got hit by the then die. Yeah. Oh, it makes it back too. Man, regular Luigi like side B does a t grip of damage. Wow. Went that from, like, was like twenty to forty. It was it's just it's just so bad. Does the hitbox doesn't start until like his eye his eyelid. Oh, it's not disjointed. No, it I'm is not very sure. negative disjointed. Oh my god, just that juggling him in place with Nair. He's got to be careful with... Um, he's definitely got to start teching and rolling away. Anthony, what do you want for Christmas? Sit, sit on Santa Zubat's lap. Hello. <laughs> 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 Someone's going to wake up with a fob in their stocking. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that like, four cr smash crush oh my, my legs, God. just destroy my bones. <laughs> so while you were distracted by Anthony, uh, oh, oh, he oh, held hey. it. Sandy did a fully charged forward smash as Toonie was recovering from uh, the ledge. Uh, so he got hit by the misfire, but he got the kill at the end. Your name is Blue. I can't read who you are. Oh, it's Mel. Oh, it is. Yeah, I had to squint real good. I did. I had to lean forward to see it was Mal. Hello. Eyes aren't what they used to be. Yeah, exactly. Getting old. No, I can read Aqua Shard too, but I can't read Mal because it's. Oh, just I always move. know when Nick Aqua Shard's in chat. <laughs> it's Pickle Nick. Oh, it's still, still kicking here. Ooh, what a ledge snap. Grabbed it with his teeth. <laughs> I, think, I like the use of fireball, like you said yeah. last uh, last game. This is definitely Sandy just adjusting. That was a bad side B because now now Tunis is racking up all this extra credit, but it's okay. Yeah. Still though, gotta be real careful. The right hit from Luigi will <laughs> hurt. Yeah. Just let it rip. <laughs> Here's the check, sir. <laughs> Got a paper cut. Oh man, I feel it. And the, sw the immediate switch back to Diddy, even though the Fox wasn't that bad. Dude, all the both matches have been last off, last hit. They've been very close. Not one side at all. The Toonie's just been kind of... He's very patient. Yeah. And like, I guess you, you gotta be in like this kind of matchup against players like this. You can be aggressive with Luigi very easily, honestly. Right now though, he's getting, he's getting up smashed. Yeah, he's, like being, four uh, of those. he's being a little too patient. Like the last two games, he was like kind of like in the middle, not too patient, not um, you know, not too aggressive. But this game, he's being extremely patient. Oh, that kill, wow! And lost the first stock for it. Yeah, big first stock for Sandy too. Only thirty-five percent on the board. That's pretty. So, that's a pretty good lead. Yeah, after after the last two games, I think Sandy changed up his playstyle a little bit. You know, it's not like he's not approaching as much. He's waiting for Toonie to come in. He's always got banana where he has a peanut ready. He's trying to, to force him out. Oh, I got back air. Oh, that oh, almost hit again. You know, even when the up smashes aren't hitting, they're not really getting punished. That seems like a, uh, a misinput. That was that must have been. That's a dead monkey. There's no way. It sure, so, the air. Tony lost the opportunity to come as he was killing uh, Sandy. The banana was still on the stage, so he should have actually went for the banana and thrown it up so that Diddy couldn't get it. Because it responds, Diddy can use it automatically again. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now he's being. He's noticed that uh, Tony's item game is not as good as his, so he's being very aggressive with the banana and the peanuts now. Pactor almost killed. 
Oh, what a recovery. But is he going to get through this ledge trapping? Yeah, oh, okay, yes, yes, he is. Nice misfire. Just getting him off and regaining stage control. Stage presence, not control. Some attempts for, like, counter zoning here. Juni with the fireballs, but... Yeah. Sandy's so, output is just faster. Another weakness I'm noticing with Sandy, he's not grabbing ledge. Yeah, I've actually kind of noticed. Instead of grabbing the ledge, he, he just he just grabs peanut instead. Grabs peanut or a banana instead. Like, he's missing out on so many stock opportunities and extra credit because he's not grabbing ledge. Right now, though, he's kind of got a, a, like a full stock ahead lead, 90% yeah. on the board for this. That dash attack was just pure SDI out <laughs> to not get hit by the forward smash. And dash attack just came out. Like, right there, back air. Sandy yeah. would have been dead. Yeah, no, a little too cautious there on the, yeah. uh, the, the ledge hog. That will kill. Just so this barely. is where you charge, uh, you do two, you could do three or four charges to get the misfire. Really just like having a fireball war here. Just, it's like, it's so hard having to navigate through Sandy's barrage of produce. It really produce. is. If you're gonna ban a stage, you wanna, there is a, you wanna ban FD. Definitely. Yeah. Is that big poppy SSB? It's uh, it's old, it's old Pat who's not here for some reason. Probably playing too much Among Us VR. Is that is that Pat as in Tez Pat or a different Pat? Different Pat. Oh okay. It's okay. our Pat. Oh oh oh. I see. It's Hog's personal Pat. See, like right there. Exactly what I mentioned earlier. It does not do it. Yeah. He'd rather just keep stage control and hold on to the banana. Oh, hey. took his pocket change. And Sandy's just kind of going wacky on the C stick. Yeah, they both. It was just a scramble that like the last like ten seconds. Just trying to wallet with bear, but no, no dice. Oh, that's a dead. Oh, Luigi. the banana snipe! No. He was just put in the perfect position too, because that uh, peanut stopped the side B. Yeah, because um, side B, unlike like uh side b for vox falco wolf you just stop in the air like i at least like gets hit out of it so he can still try to recover again and then like peach side b trades so she, like she gets the hop still yeah um, cape is cape Ooh, interesting stage pick um it's kind of like fd but with a just, smaller fd on the top yeah it is just it's just it's Smashville, but it doesn't move. Yeah. I think the main stage is a little smaller. Or maybe I'm crazy. It just has a bigger bottom, like a little bit wider. Getting hit with the... What's the... Up tilt? Really, like, just being... It feels like Sandy's being way more aggressive with the, uh, with the peanuts here. Yeah, because peanuts, they go a lot faster than bananas does. Still managing to get ledge, but... Did, did Sandy try to hit with the uh, the up hitbox? I think he just he forgot that he had a banana out. It happens. That's gonna kill it. Yeah, that that move is is real good, but the hitbox on it is not good. It seems like the the story of Luigi. Oh, that was almost Ooh. insane. Yo, I want to see more of that. Yeah, no, getting a little creative here, Juni. That goes right through the fireball. But oh, the banana peel saving the day. Through the misfire, no less. And he's actually—he actually just stole his turn back too. He did. That's the problem with this matchup. Um, Luigi, you can just take your turn back with one button. Gotta be real conscious of the nair and any other combo breaker from Luigi. No. Hit the dab on him. And he has the banana. All right, good stuff. Throw the banana up. This is like the most stacked 10 bracket per like tournament I've ever seen. I know. This is more stacked than all yesterday, and that had 44 people. The scuttle. The sc so you wave dash forward and scuttle backwards. You keep your momentum. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
no one does it because it's like, why would you? But like, it's funny. I, more, more characters need crawls because they're funny. Luigi has a top tier crawl. Oh, got caught with a monkey flip. Oh, Sandy almost had it there. All right, what's he gonna do? All right, just gotta watch out. We heard the sound, we saw it, all right. Oh, fuck, gets out of up smash. Oh and... my god, he's gotta, stop. he's gotta stop going for that. Yeah. I mean, it worked once. Man. I'm literally gonna scream at Sandy after this set. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. Finally kill, kills Luigi at a humble 188. A uh, healthy, healthy percent. A, a well used Jeez, job. What and was that, Sandy? Can you he was, he was cancel out. that? He was trying to go for the ledge cancel. Yeah. And instead, what happened was he was just DIing out and died for it. Tuny kind of playing out of his mind. Can be really. Uh, still getting the uh the edge guards here. Oh wait a minute! Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize Tony still had his down B. Really, just good like use of your resources here from Tony. Ooh! Really good use of resources. Ooh, oh, no, he no, got hit by it! Wow! The double misfire is A ridiculous. 3-1. Luigi mains when they need it, they get it every time. Every he it's missed like the first one, and the game's like no, 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 no. You got one more, try again! The spirit of every Luigi player looked at him, it's like that one scene from Avatar. Where yeah. all the other avatars are looking at him. You see, when Luigi has that trip, he always has extra luck. Always. Ooh, <laughs> we got Wombat Shadowhawk. Hold on. Hey yo, I got the same commentary this Hell great. yeah. We got the, the Shadow Hawk versus the legendary New Jersey. Yeah, it's just one bad. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Squirtle player. The 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 champion of Wednesdays. Someone has to be. It ain't me. Squirtle. I should have got a custom Diddy Kong skin made. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna go to PS2. Like we know what's gonna happen. If Shadowhawk doesn't ban it, they're going to PS2. Wombat should not be a coward and should take Shadowhawk to FD. Oh my god. Oh, it's PS2. Who would have known? Wow. Wow, I'm in shock. It's gonna be PS2 or Smashville. And they're doing another you know, usual hand warmers. Shadowhawk's getting up. I don't know why Shadowhawk's getting up from the commentary booth. What do you mean? He, it's Go time. It's time, time to poop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Z Zubat's going in. Yo, it's the it's the Burger King himself. No, it's me, Shiny Zubat. Uh, memes, memes. Uh, boy, do I love. I sure do love Yoshi. Say 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 the line, Zubat. Boy, I sure do love Yoshi. Memes. Zubat, did he get wider? <laughs> yes, I've embraced my honky. <laughs> All right, you can have the shit back. Burger King is kind of like a uh, doo doo. So I held Shadowhawk's controller and it bit me. When you said you're tagging in, I thought you were gonna run into the bathroom with <laughs> with Shadowhawk. <laughs> like I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, his controller literally has teeth on it, and <laughs> I, I like built it. And I had to stop. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Well, you see, the poop on your controller makes it makes you play better. <laughs> better better grip for the stick, you know. Oh yes, I want to impale myself. <laughs> I think we're gonna get into it now. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I. 
I, I rarely ever get to see Squirtle. I think it's only just Wombat. I think it's the only Squirtle in Tri-State. That plays consistently. Oh. Right now, though. <laughs> Listen, oh, no! And still still made it back to tell the tale. But right now, Shadowhawk's kind of looking looking at Wombat with, with, with like death in his eyes, and he's like trying to kill him. <laughs> Like he's going right for the jugular. Oh! And never mind. Uh, no, no more recovery. We ain't dealing with that Mario Party minigame. Get that shit out of here. Wombat is like, uh, die. <laughs> Wombat does not care about PK Thunder. Oh no, he got wall. He got uh, wall clicks. May may maybe felt himself a little too much. Diddy has the same thing with this. It's wall clicks. It's really annoying. Oh wow. Yeah, up being off stage, off screen's a little difficult sometimes. The turns have kind of tabled here. It started out like Shadowhawk was going nuts, and now, uh, well, Shadowhawk's going nuts, actually. <laughs> still, though, Wombat's got a still a full sock ahead. Yeah, he's gonna... oh, Avoids the uh, up smash twice. That's uh, free damage, essentially. Squirtle's so slippery on the ground. It really is. Wow. Oh, Ghost War, too. He's like, you know, why not? Because Lucas wouldn't come down fast enough. Oh, my God. The Wombat kind of going off. That will kill. And he's got a fully charged, uh, whatever that move is. Water gun, that's the one. Yes. When the water guns. Man. Just, Wombat just grabbed a hold of this game. It's been a while since they played. Oh, back throw? Oh no, pizza time. Doesn't kill though, the pizza comes back down. That also won't kill. Now, this, this should kill. Oh, Unless he man! matches out. Mario Party God. But yeah, this is super dead yeah, Squirtle. There's no way. Chuck Squirtle out the fucking window. That uh, won't kill. Almost, though. Not yet, though. Really good drift back from uh, Shadowhawk. Not out of this yet, just not looking great. As long as Shadowhawk can just get as like, not take too much extra credit damage, and just, he needs to get, if he gets up there maybe two more times, he's done. Yeah. Yeah. So he has a full, he does have the PK fire, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did have a full PK thunder charge. So, if he got, he could have got an easy kick with that, like easy kill. And then he would have finished off the last stock because Wombat would have been at low percent for comboing. Yeah. I noticed early on that game, Shadowhawk was whiffing a lot of, of up smashes. They just were not finding their mark. Maybe Squirtle's a little awkward to combo. Squirtle's a little small. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're going to go to FD. Ah, yes. The, the, per the perfect uh, Shadowhawk stage. Everyone loves bringing Shadowhawk here. It's, it's everyone's Wombat favorite costume. Likes the stage a lot too. Yeah, the, Wombat is like one of the few people who willingly uh, will put up with Shadowhawk on this stage, mostly for reasons oh like this. Oh my goodness! The, the sour spot into the sweet spot back here. Wombat just being like, I do not. Uh, see, you can figure it out now. If you can't, I'll take a spare. It's a trick, and the B button sometimes it's nine, eight out of ten inputs are fine, but two get eaten. Can you like throw a rock at Ben so I can get a water? <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. All right, back to the mash. Uh, luckily, I didn't miss too much. Why of, is Ben uh, shaking uh, his head? No. <laughs> Yo, how did Wombat lose his first stock? Me want water. No, there's water on the screen. We have water at home. I can't drink Squirtle water. Yes, you can. It's very edible. 
is very salty. <laughs> they, they, like, yeah, I get it. They totally eat Pokemon in universe. Thank you. Oh, sweet. Oh. Ah, we got some, uh, some CT water. <clears throat> ah, yes. All right, Straight I got to mouth. Because I keep missing how Wombat stocks. Yeah, I looked away and two of those stocks disappeared. Yeah, right? Because, like, I, I saw how, uh, what happened to Shadowhawk's first stock. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Wombat's. Never mind, well, I think that's I know, what happened. I think I know what happened. Uh, Shadowhawk remembered? Oh, yeah, I'm on FD and decided to, to start winning. He's, he's still hanging on. Oh, that was such a good use of the thunder. That's so goofy, I hate it. He's, he's just simply built different. Well, you know what, guys? Maybe you gotta fix your internet. <laughs> There's... <laughs> Ho Hog Wi-Fi has been a little, uh, little sussy lately, I'll admit. Oh uh, my god, oh, it, what do you mean reverse. that way? Eh, that's a dead squirtle. I wanted to see Lucas pull the sword out of the ground. Just completely ran over Wombat there. They're gonna go to Smashville. Justin, why are you not here? Is that THE Justin Mikoshi? The single, the single greatest uh, Ivysaur player to ever live. Destroyer of Shadowhawk. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Remember when we said Squirtle's a little hard to combo? Oh yeah, you're right. I should have known better. Forgot. <laughs> just see, it's like you ever run over a turtle and the shell just get, get, gets stuck under your tires and goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> oh my God! Shut up. That was a story my driving teacher taught me once. Told me once, and it, it was like fucked up, but also hilarious. It's true, but it yeah. is fucked up. Yeah. Squirtle movement's kind of silly looking. It really is. He's just like trotting along and he got it. Anthony, Anthony bopping off. You know, Marshall, I don't know. Oh, oh. I hate to see it. At such an early percent too, that's really not what you want to see. Cause uh Wombat will take that lead and run with it. That's a that's a free stock. He'll we take those. Yeah, we'll, we'll we take those any day of the week, Monday through Friday. Maybe the weekends, but not so much. Uh Wombat like should Wombat count his like blessings it. for not getting hit by the spike hitbox there. Oh absolutely. That was almost like like a brutal. This is all extra credit because of that missed spike. Yeah, 80%. Not bad at all. Thank you. Shout out to Isaac, uh, resident controller wizard. Yeah, my controller, uh, the, my R button's getting stuck, and my B button's getting stuck too. Oh! Wow, man. Oh, it is kind of like Shades of Game 1, like a very similar lead to this Wombat had. Then again, you know, Shadowhawk starting to look a little warmed up here. It can all just melt away in a series of down airs and up airs. It's true. I want to see game five. I don't care who wins this game, but I want to see game five. Oh yeah, I love watching both these players. Oh, oh, oh just no kind of kind of got kidnapped there. That that was a robbery. That was a GameStop trade. And... It was like a GTA character just comes up to your car and rips you out. Oh my god, it was. You just didn't park at the Taco Bell minding your own business and he tells you to get out? He doesn't even tell you, he just opens the door and throws you out of your own car. That's some GTA Online bullshit. Yeah. Shadowhawk's like, I own New Jersey now. Hey, wait a minute. He owns Wednesdays. Shadowhawk is going to Old Jersey. That almost killed me. I can't believe he went for the double. This is actually super close. Uh, Squirtle... Very light. Yo, last stand, Shadowhawk. He's literally anime protagonist. Last stock hawk is something to be uh, feared. That oh. will kill. 
Going for the slow getup to try to edge hog Squirtle. Unfortunately, yo, we heard a let's go both players from Anthony. It looks like he listened to the legendary Mikoshi after all. <laughs> Kyle called him pre-evolution to Gary. Oh my god. Where That's you just rude. I've never, like, I've, I've seen Kyle kill many people in game, but not in real life like that. They have a family. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Yo, Kyle's your dad now. Yo, we're just gonna go to Smashville. The squirrel's so slippery that like he just SDI's out and just, just, just get the ledge. Nice back air. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's right. This uh, this smash still doesn't go all the way, so Shadowhawk could not actually recover to the platform. Yep. Keep forgetting we're, that. Because we're still on the fire side build. Can we not? <laughs> we're going to be here forever. And ever. And ever. I hope you're... Uh, like, I hear the, I hear the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX opening in my nightmares now. <laughs> it's been, I think, like over six months since we had this fucking build. Uh, I got the sour hit. Of, uh... He still gets to keep the charge, which I don't, I think is kind of silly. So he needs it. I think he should only keep the sweet spot charge. Like, he's got to earn the charge back. That's he just like, ah, oh, well, he missed. Here it is anyway. Uh, you know, honestly, pretty good trade for a Wombat. Yeah, extra percent. Uh, just presets neutral. Like, you're living on borrowed time anyway. Like, might yeah. as well. This is just happy birthday percent right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get that ledge hog, but not after paying a hefty tax. All right, so now Shadowhawk does have a little bit of work to do. Or you know, maybe it could, oh wow, uh, was that Nair? That was Nair. Nair's nice, nice fast. forward air. Oh wow! Damn. With the uh, with the up smash. Got him out of the in air dodge. Oh, Wombat, like, kind of poised to take this. Well, I say that. He's still good. He still has all his resources left. Oh, wow. Barely avoids the, uh... All the death coming towards him. I would've got hit by literally any of that. <laughs> True. God, Squirtle's so, like, slippery and evasive. He's, he's a funny little dude. He tries his best. Yeah, he's just a little guy. Yeah, 156 percent as Squirtle. That is, that is a very well-lived turtle. Yeah, that turtle's not going anywhere anytime. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. The problem is when Shadowhawk takes a stock, he's already at such a high percent that he can't risk any trade. This might be a dead Lucas. Oh, oh doesn't no. get the turnaround. Oh, missed input by uh, by Shadowhawk there. Got the point. Nice side. And died for it. All right, Shadowhawk poised to take this 3-1 if he uh, gets this stock. Shadowhawk has to take this stock very early. No way. Wow. He Never died. Died. Very early. We got the last stock hawk uh, here. And this is the first time Shadowhawk had the lead, in percent at least, the whole game. Yeah, for, it's been a minute. The, the anime protagonist buff kicking in. Oh my god. Oh, yo, yeah, imagine not having an upbeat to do that. <laughs> Die. I know. That wow. won't kill the Luke, DI of the gods. No oh way. wow! And it what? killed even Shadow. Even, even Wombat's like what? That was with good DI too. Wow, that's bold. That's actually bold if that killed. I thought that. I thought turtle shells are supposed to be durable. <laughs> no, they they can't go to FD. They can't go to Smashville. They well, they get gentlemen's back to Pokemon Stadium. That, that 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 was the last stock hawk up smash. That's a uh, 
that there was, was extra power in that here. was pure robbery if i've ever seen it 68 percent oh yo we got some knight of the wind Ooh. oh my god and he, he's riding the momentum he the, the, the chat's going wild and by chat i mean the real life chat of uh the humans here i don't count i don't count the chat the chat on the screen as people <laughs> you caught the peanut gallery instead they're, they're, they're more like, you know, hallucinations and, like, internet demons yeah, here to right. torment me. Yo, it's Mole Drifter. I count Mole Drifter as a person. Is that the BB 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 BB? Shout out to Mole Drifter. Alright, I look like I gotta change my tag for tonight. Hell yeah. I just had about a car. Yo, me too. Me too, buddy. Imagine having a car. This is brought to you by the Naha King Gang. <laughs> oh my god, he's alive. Wow. If it wasn't Green Hill, he would have been dead. Get the trip from the bubble gum. Uh, gum. Uh, gun. <laughs> bubble gum. They're spamming those chickens to help ho Sh Shadowhawk. If that hit. Wow, that was, I would have walked out of the venue. That was a oh really my God. funny looking arms attack. That's still not gonna kill. Uh, still that not also gonna kill. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess turtle shells are durable. Ooh, that Down this throw. should be dead. No. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. That being said, uh, if Lucas like sneezes on his Quirtle, he's a dead character. Yeah, like, Wamba has to play so carefully, just just a boy trying to get grabbed. He is at the percent where Wamba, uh, he yeah. was at the percent that, uh, Shadowhawk could toss. not combo him. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, he grabbed a little, what? Oh, what? wow. I didn't even realize, I thought Shadowhawk was at two stocks, it's just even now. Well, what happened with the tether? He just, he went the tether, he just didn't grab it. Was it too close? Tether left. It happens to me when I play Samus. It's called, uh, agonizing, uh, pain. Oh, the, the, the classic. Oh, he went for it. No reason not to. Well. Oh. My. No, don't do it. He tried to do it, the monster. Uh, he's super dead. He tried to go to the platform to save him, but it was just too it's just too slow. I like how they both have their hoodies up. Yeah. Yeah, Wombat looks more like Squirtle with the hoodie up. Oh my god, she does. She needs a cowboy hat. Yo, yeah, well, imagine. How many the borders was that? Jeez Louise. Uh, what? Also he he fucking died, holy shit. Yeah, uh, it was just Shadowhawk forward. snatching victory from the jaws forward. of defeat. It was just forward air, forward air, forward air into forward air. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, true up. combo. Christ. All right. Good luck. What a game. Never, never count the hawk out of it. Well, welcome back. Good, good game. Good game. I can never leave commentary. I am stuck here. <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> you don't play the game though. Exactly. But I, I live on the couch. My butt probably has like a in permanent indent in the seat. <laughs> a scrawny little indent. Your memory foam. Yo, we got Pineapple Tommy versus uh versus Kais here. How does Ben Knight do against Charizard? Uh, you get nared a lot because uh, Bobby's very good at the video game. Oh my god, so fast, this goofy fucking lizard! Yeah, uh, Kyle's that thing, uh, what do you call? Uh, really, really good. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's, he's the destroyer of worlds. I'm not reading all of that. that is, I can't even uh, read it. I, oh, oh, bot, bot, bot! 
Yo, we're, 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 who's, who's running we're stream? We gotta kill that thing. We're the mods! We, we, got, we gotta oh, kill it. Oh no, the, the pineapple Tommy has knee. You hate to see it. Mods, mods, kill the bot. Destroy it. There we go. I can see again. It's so hard to ban from mobile. <laughs> then go to your computer. <laughs> Oh, that was about me trying to snuff up the, the, the recovery. But yeah. Can move your mic a little up. What? Oh, there you go. Hey, hello, I'm here. Yes. Wombat um, versus Sandy and losers? No! That's a that's a demon losers bracket. <laughs> I've never seen one. Oh my god, it's rough. Chimpanzees and uh, turtles. Speaking of rough, uh... I don't think... I think Charizard was pretty good in this matchup, actually. Yeah. Uh, here it comes. All of all of Midnight strengths don't even matter because Charizard's just big, goofy, and just does and that. Hello. The four suck. Ah. Yo, it's a it's the Sim, it's the Simpsons uh, hit and run soundtrack. I will. You'll be the first to know. Thank you. I cannot take any game get any game on this stage seriously when the fucking Simpsons hit and run music is playing. Oh my god! You know I'm in my own little world talking to Space Toast and Toast, and I hear the fucking the Simpsons hit and run music. Like, every game that's played with this music on is just a clown game. Because, come on. Also, I'm pretty sure this music is copyright, like, Nightmare. Because it's owned by na not only just Fox, but Disney now. Oh, absolutely. So the mouse is going to, like, break into this uh, basement and kill us all. Do you know there's no mouse character in this game? What about Pikachu? Uh, uh, that's, not the, that's not real. The character's not real. I've never, I've actually never seen that, anyone that's play a, Pikachu That's a in this rodent, game. that's not a mouse. <laughs> like, I've legit never seen Pikachu ever played in this game. I have no idea what this character Pikachu's is. Pikachu's not real. I've heard people in Homing Quarter argue about Pikachu for hours on end, but I, I've never seen anyone play him. I'm getting harassed by Malk, and he's not even in here. I'm, I'm, my feelings are so hurt, I'll go back to New Jersey. Also, Pikachu is a mouse. It says it in the Pokédex. So why would the Pokédex ever, ever lie? No, the Pokédex says he's a rat. <laughs> no, it says he's not the electric rat. The, there's already a rat Pokémon. Raticate. It has rat in the name. Oh, why would he do that? He wouldn't live if he just upbeat or done anything else. I did not know uh, Tornado didn't grab ledge. Uh, the more you know. Yeah, it does not. It's very but, good diagonal. Okay. Tommy kind of ahead now. Yeah, Tommy's doing a lot better in this game. He didn't get in his own head. He will um, die when he gets grabbed like this. I don't know. Yeah, last game he SD'd and he just kind of got really frustrated. But this game he's a little more composed. So, although that happens, we're not going to yeah, talk about like, that. Yeah, like I said, you get grabbed by Kaisen, you die. Yeah. That's the matchup. Or you can, uh, like, 11,000 up air him to 56%. That was the... That was the most brawl combo I've ever seen in my life. Wow! <laughs> Tommy might take a game here, actually. Oh my god. I can't wait. I'm gonna Charizard go to, like, is a large lizard. I'm gonna go to the next major, and everyone in Discord who sees me in person is just gonna scream, Hello! Hello! <laughs> yeah. Memes. I can't wait. Uh, doesn't, not, isn't quite dead. Uh, not living well, though. Ooh, nice ledge cancel. Didn't really get too much out of it, but at least he's safe. I, I believe in Tommy here to... Oh, absolutely. Tommy's uh, playing really well. Yeah, much better than last game. Kind of, kind of bounced back. Yeah. Good down smash. Ooh! He's so, he's so good. Oh, that was almost like I a good game. I felt that. Uh, Ka Kais no! is a monster, actually. Just, Kai saw a dream, and just <laughs> rushed it. He's a dream. He's a ghost type. Only knows one move, and it's Dream Eater. 
you, you know what they say, you know, the tide of capitalism always comes through. Big, big business Bobby always wins. He plays Charizard, the G character. The house always wins. Actually, the house winning would just be already actually. You're right, yeah. And in, in that case, the house actually wins quite a lot. <laughs> this is a brutal start. That Nair is just so devastating in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, what if you said? What if you had a sword, but Charizard said, uh, "Flaming Tail." That flaming tail is just so devastating. What do you do against it? Die? I mean, yeah, you're right, but still. Just getting, uh, Charizard's kind of playing catch with himself here. We're just running back and forth and chucking him. He's just so fast with those neutral B cancels just to uh, grab a ledge. I wish I was that consistent with my neutral B turnarounds. Kaisa's movement with Charizard really is something to be like awed at. It's incredible. I've never seen a heavy move like this. It's, it's it's frankly frightening. It really is. Like Yoshi can Yoshi could move like this, but like it's a lot harder. Yeah. Oh, but all right, we got the wheels turning. All right. Yeah, I got a see stock on the board. I like the uh, the back air attempt there as a starter. Oh yeah, just just a good get off me tool. For a second, I thought this was still Simpsons hit and run music from the Halloween level, but no, this is something else. It sounds goofy like the Simpsons too. Yeah, it was it was like the weird like ooh, like music reminds me of the Halloween level from the Simpsons hit and run. Which is like a barely, like a, like low key, a barely finished level. Oh, is it that bad? Oh, yeah. Like, well, it's not like even bad. It's just, it's all, it's almost all reused assets. Oh, don't say that. And also, yeah, yeah the, the missions there kind of suck. I mean, I would assume. I mean, you're, play, you're playing the Simpsons hit and run. You're, you know what you're in for. They yeah, gotta play the Simpsons wrestling game. That one's cracked. Where Ned Flanders is S tier? Yeah. Of it because his, his his Bibles like home in on you even when you're down. Um, it's so funny. So the Simpsons hit and run I wouldn't say is a good game, but it's also low key Kino. Oh my God. Come on, Tommy, yeah, but let's the, go. Yeah, but have you under, have have you considered uh, Melk that the mini game driving is fun? Fun fun fact, Marshall Pat's not actually here. <laughs> Kevin, did not deserve this. Oh, nice ledge snap. Let's go, Tommy. Tommy might might try to might bring this back here, actually. I have 100% faith. Oh, okay. He's on him. Ooh. Well, let's oh. go, Tommy. Oh. Ooh, I, I felt that. Oh, the dash dancing. Uh, no, wait. He's still cooking. Why is he cooking? He's nah, nah, still nah. alive. Oh, Don't call damn. him Tommy Tiny testicle, Testicles, come on. Malk, you're a jerk. Uh, okay, okay Melk, you, you come down here, you come down here, uh, and, and, and you fight the Charizard. <laughs> the Charizard just, uh... You fight oh. the big man. What do you do against Charizard? No one uh, knows. die. I might have to play, but I'm not sure yet. Oh. Only time want... will tell. I have this bad streak of having to play Artie every tournament. Actually, Marshall, I'm gonna be on PR. I entered one tournament this this year and I got fifth. I am gonna be on the PR. Hello. Oh, uh, he's gonna All give me the right. hands because I'm playing Diddy tonight. Ugh. All right, good luck. I'm gonna need it. We got Artie versus Zubat here. Only shows up to commentate. Gets it. Enters tournament once, gets fifth, never enters again. Yeah, yeah, I am top three in, in, in uh, RPSPR. There are a lot of handsome gamers here. Speaking of handsome gamers, hello. 
How are we doing? Doing oh. alright. Bro, do you know how to set it so I can hear myself? You gotta move the, 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 like, a little bit closer. Oh, thank you. No, no, I just, oh, yeah, 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 okay. There you go. I, bro, do you know how to set it so I can hear myself, or do you not know how to do that? I have no idea. Oh, no, I said bro. Oh. Uh. Bro didn't respond, so I'm gonna assume, yeah, he doesn't know. Happens, you know? Yeah. Or maybe he can't hear me. Um. Alright, so. Oh, he's playing. Yeah, he's going Diddy tonight. I forgot, he's switching. Um. Oh, 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 oh. I have malfunction. No, so, actually, in the rule sets, G Town Tom. I'm gonna cite G Town Tom. If in the first five seconds you have a controller map function, uh, you are allowed to restart. Though you should do bunch checks. G Town is trying to enforce bunch checks in yeah. like melee, and I think it's fair to follow the, like the melee code of like bunch checks. I like the thing that Rivals has, where you can do the button, no, like the button check test yeah. in in the character select screen. It's so nice. Such a good quality of life. A uh, shout out to Dan Fornasi for setting it up. I think Rivals is the only platform fighter I played that has that, which oh, is crazy. Thank you, bro. Oh no, I can't hear myself. Oh no, no, I, I'm a, uh, Patrick. I'm okay with hearing myself with uh, delay. See, I can't do that because that, yeah. that that freaks me out. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay with the delay because uh, it just helps me like know like You're my having volume. Having an issue. Level. Blowing on the port is old school like wizard strats. The playground strats, you know, you blow in the cartridge because it makes it work good, even though I think that's bad. How does one kill him? Great question. All right, back to it. I think his Zubat swap a controller, or did he? Uh, is he using the same one, and did it just mix it out? Uh, maybe. I can't tell. Can't actually see the hands. Okay. <laughs> Marshall, ain't those things babes? Uh, See, is this a set? Maybe. I can't tell if this rule is already standing in place a ton. He does that sometimes, though. No, they look serious. Yeah, that's it. All right, matchup. Uh, do you want to know how this matchup works, or do you, you got an idea about it? I've seen both these characters. Uh, I've seen Sandy and Artie fight a few times. Oh, so you, you kind of like understand like the premise is just, you know, uh, it's a peanut. lot of item chucking. Yeah. Or Pita and but or already so much produce going around. Uh, what is it? Um, the biggest peanut thrower is in the I think that we have is uh Sandro, but did he or uh Zubat's more banana focused and Zubat a lot more patient than Sandy. We'll we'll use aerials really smartly. Yeah. And so the whole battle of this matchup is once Peach has Diddy in the corner, it is almost it is so hard for Diddy to get out of. This is such up. a stacked bracket. Yeah. It, oh my god, it so is. I was looking at who we have here. But yeah, once you're in the corner, the things Diddy has to do is like full hop, and then commit something, or did full hop monkey flip, which is good escape to tool two, but um, don't want to be in the corner of Diddy. That's like the end goal for Peach to get. And then Diddy's so good about, you know, chugging items, making sure he doesn't get in the corner, and playing the mix-ups. That F tilt from- Oh! That oh, was- wow. First hit F smash into down smash- down air? What a nut. Shiny Zubat definitely knows his stuff about Diddy because uh, when the first game, uh, Sandy versus uh, Toonie, uh, he had a lot of Diddy knowledge and Luigi knowledge, actually. The, those are those are both Zubat characters. Oh. oh, fast fall just for a frame too long. Yeah, and uh, Zubat's really good about more about like avoiding getting CC'd. Having played a bunch of melee players in, in, uh, in New Jersey in the past, he, uh, he knows his stuff against melee, you know, the melee characters. Definitely. Oh boy. This but is really not, close. Not getting to write the eyes on things, which is scary, like... I mean, that's also Diddy, actually. Diddy's really light. Yeah. Oh, what catches the peanut. The, the comically oversized peanut. Diddy, uh, in a bad combo way, by the way. Or bad... He's light and a semi-fast faller, which is the worst weight you want to be in the game. Worse than, uh, light... Regular light, fast being light is your weight, you know, it, dep it determines how fast you die. Oh, and then your okay. uh, fall speed, it determines how much uh, your, like, you know, fall. And uh, your weight also, the heavier you are, the harder it is to combo you out of a grab. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, that's but, unfortunate. And fall speed is different. Fall speed is, like, how fast you fall, and what the most important thing about fall speed is um, it, it enables and, uh, you know, enables chain grabs if you fall fast. Oh, no. He, he was holding that, wow. 
Oh, yeah, that's oh, a nice. dead Diddy Kong. Also, oh. with um saying that about fall speed, so usually, like I said, uh, semi fast forward, worst combo way, right? To be, because you get hit by everything essentially. You get oh, chain yeah. grabbed, you get comboed, everything. But the the uh, Your the mid weights. It's a no, 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 not mid weights. Semi fast fallers. It's a little bit after mid weights. I, I meant like it's like kind of like being a mid weight in like a regular fighting game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Although like I think the only <laughs> the only fighting games where like character weight is actually a thing is like older guilty years. Yeah, and funny enough, this fight, <laughs> how like at full speed determines how like you know uh, up to down, up and down. Uh, fall, even if you have a high fall speed, uh, what determines the most how fast you fall uh, dive to the top is actually still weight somehow. Ha. Huh. Funny, right? Weird. But uh, so because Diddy weighs. Uh, or Diddy's fall speed is semi fast forward. He should be it should be the converse combo weight, but not really because uh, he doesn't get chain grabbed. That's a semi fast forward, which is nice. Oh, but he's getting messed up. Oh, oh my god, man, that's two stocks gone already. Already, you one can, minute in, you cannot kill him. You cannot get impatient against Peach. You even if you're down, just you gotta grind it out a bit. You can, yeah, you can't throw out smash exits. Uh, already wants you to get impatient against him because yeah. this happens. Though, uh, yep, careful. Starting to make some plays. Nice, nice. Call 69%. From... Let's go, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, Pull, calling out Peach from the corner, really important. Because you oh, get it's so a double much clap. Drop. Nice. And double clap, wait, because you know, you don't want to overcommit and then get down smashed. Oh, really? Going for a really hard call out with Absolute. Smash? Already does that on Smash Jimmy all the time. It hits surprisingly high. It, I think Peach up smash is low key kind of like, underrated. Yeah. It's a big call out, and then you get a tech chase after. Oh, nice. Would this be an upset if Artie beat Zubat? It would be, but at the same time, I think uh, Zubat playing a whole different character, you know, might be a little different too. Yeah. But at the same time, never take away someone's win, and I think Artie winning this is still just as good. Yeah, Zubat's not quite out of it yet, though. He went for a double peanut. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> this is not looking good, though. He's probably. Yeah. Not dead, but not living well. I like uh, the Zub little wall cling. Yeah, see if I can get anything started. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna see a switch to Luigi. Or Yoshi. Or no, he's, I don't. I heard he doesn't want to play that anymore. Oh, he's thinking though. The gears are turning. The little, little mouse in his little mouse wheel is it's going. I didn't see what he picked. Was that D to D or? Yep, D three. Yep, yep. For for Vol Drifter. Actually, supposedly a good match for D to D. The big BBB. Actually, Marshall, would you know? I, is it still considered a good matchup, or is this matchup changed? Because I still think it's it still looks horrendous for Peach. Can we get some Bs in chat. Yeah, they, and so the big thing about this matchup, uh, big hammer. That's it. Yeah. The uh, funny disjoint. Uh, two Gordos already. That's pretty good RNG. All good things considered. The great thing about also playing DD is that when you're above, when you have someone above you. Especially Peach, she can't get down, and your hammer is just so good about dealing with it. Yeah. It's. Look, and then we're gonna watch right here. It's. Oh, why do you go for another. We're going for another, wa another wall dash. It's so weird. Zubat's getting a lot of Gordos. It really is. Gordos go hard. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Not quite dead, but not But not this is well. so hard for Peach to get out of. One of the characters that can actually get ledge trapped in this game, Peach. Yeah. Uh, if I re if I recall, uh, Peach has a very not good ledge dash. Oh, actually, I forget. In this game, uh, below 100, she gets a great PM ledge dash. Really? So in PM, yes, there's a tournament winner ledge dash, and so it enables characters who traditionally have a bad ledge dash to get a better ledge dash. And when you're below 100, you get more, you know, glint. So, or I guess it's not even. Yeah, you get more glint. So, uh, yeah. You, under 100 of Peach's Ledge Ash is actually insane oh if you do turn it Oh god, what the fuck was oh. that? You gotta be careful as you know, you played a long game as DD because if you try to approach Peach too much, Peach will get damage on you. How do you just kind of maul them that stock? Like, just the percent built up so fast. And then already, oh. Nice, I like his best callouts. Why does Peach hit like a truck in like every game? Just her design, you know? Oh, well, except Brawl. And Smash 4. Uh, Smash 4 Peach did not hit that hard. If you could do the funny footstool combos, they just die. I forget about the footstool combos. Yeah. 
But I know uh, when when it came to like, you know, oh, I like that to like, you know, wait out I, the invincibility. I didn't know you could do that. Jet hammer into wait out invincibility. Uh, that, that was far from too bad. I love it. Nice. Up throw. Yeah, and then here's where we're going to oh, see. There we go. We're going to see big damage. Uh, it was all right dam damage. No, it's big damage to regard. Oh, you were going to see big damage if you didn't uh, got get hit by the Gordo. Because you still get positioning, even if you don't uh, do all the damage at once. Really good use of the multiple jumps. Oh, there's the there oh, goes the Waddle no. Dew. The Waddle Dew is such a broken one too. Just shoots a little laser. Yeah, and then we're. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, he almost got spiked. The uh, tickled her. Wait, it spikes? Yep, the 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 base of it. That's funny. The bottom of it, anyways. It's like playing whack a mole. And yeah, I like how Zubat's using the Gordos to like that was really hit good Peach movement. above, so Peach can now float above, and she can also now like uh what is it a B above. So it makes Peach have to go to ledge, and uh, you can just snipe Peach from there. Oh my! He tried. He went for it. He's crazy. Artie kind of might have. Oh my God, Artie! Artie's sorry, cracked. I got, I got loud there. I'm sorry, but uh, that was. Sick. He has the dog in him, as they say. Yeah, it really does. Nice. Just standing. Dashes. Menace. Oh. Is that I mean, a sick trace? That's a dot eye. Oh yeah. It's... Light pink is dot eye. Ooh. Ooh, this is scary. Yeah, Peach is horrible in the corner. But I don't want to get bonked. Uh-oh. Good shield tilt. Love it. Oh, no. He's trying to shield tilt, but... Oh, he's getting caught. And the pressure. Artie's just going ham now. Artie throwing out so many buttons. What's going on? Oh! Call out! I I saw DDD oh. flying to the Gordo, and I thought he was about to eat it for a second, but that's I forgot that's going. not a thing in this game. How's he going to get out of the corner? Oh, my God. This is just so intense. Uh, oh, he, uh, he got the suck. Get sucked. Oh, Waddle. Down tilt. The down tilt. Let's call out. Goes high. Oh, no. Oh, where is he going? Still in air. What is he cooking? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, slap's not going to kill anytime soon. Uh, that oh, might. One more chance. Oh, He's dead, actually. No, no jump. Out of, out of jump stock. That was a very close Jeez. last game, but already taken it with a 3 0. A 10 stall. Uh, now he's going upstairs, probably to retrieve, uh, retrieve Astastic. Or maybe he's just upstairs because, or maybe, or Artie just, when he wins, sometimes he'll just go take a walk. Uh, cool okay. off. Which I respect. So how we doing? Doing all right. I, I wasn't even planning on commentating today, but you know, the couch calls to me. <laughs> Got drawn among us. Oh, let me show you what I'm getting for Christmas. I, you know, we got, we got, we're getting some stuff for Christmas. Yo. <laughs> among so, us, it's among so, us. So much among us. Among us, it's among all us. among us. And then a pushing pen. Is it Look among it, us pushing pen? A, no, no, it's just a pushing pen, but it's a 10 in one pen. Oh, yeah. Let me show the stream. Let me, let's, uh, let it focus. Ah, uh, yes. Any, I hope no one's watching this in that dark room. Oh, yeah, I would hate that. Okay, we're gonna... Let's turn out down to brightness. That might help. There it is. There you go. Why are you showing this? I'm I guess I can, I'm showing it. You know, bro. It's cool. You wouldn't it's get cool. it. It's cool. Right, I guess I wouldn't get it. I'm sorry, bro. You know, bro, bro does love for us. That's the homie right there. You know what I'm getting for Christmas? What do you have for Christmas? Show me. Show me. Show me. Found this sick thing online. You can't. Oh, you can't be showing down and, and stream. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 a little, uh, a little oh, spicy. Well, that's a little spicy. Uh, let's see, is, is there is an or is there an image for it on the email? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I would love to see. Is it a Mithra statue, maybe? I already own a Mithra statue. An Iron Mithra statue? Uh, there's only one. The Amiibo's not on sale yet. Or is that a, a Mecha? It, it's a uh, it's a it's the Metal Slug tank, but a Transformer. That's sick! Oh my god! Uh, let me find. I, it's only got the one image, so it doesn't show the. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's it's the it's the tank from Metal Slug. It's a transformer. Oh, that's so sick! Yeah. Let's go. So it's not an official transformer product, but it's an official SNK product. So it's like technically a second party transformer. Yeah, it's super cool though. Hell yeah! But yeah, for anyone uh, who's watching, you know. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, etc., etc. You know, whatever you're celebrating for the holidays. All you Kwanzaa people out there. 
I don't know anything about Kwanzaa, but I respect it. Kwanzaa? Yeah, I sorry I forgot Kwanzaa. That's a big one. But yeah, uh, anyway. Is Ramadan this... Is Ramadan this this season? Let's check. Let me... Uh... Ramadan? How do you spell Ramadan? No idea. Oh, we got Shadowhawk versus Kais. Strangely early feeling in the bracket. You know, all I know is that there's a lot of holidays this season. So whatever you're celebrating, hope you're, you know, at Winter home solstice. with the families. Or the family or wherever, whoever, your friends, or whoever you're like celebrated with, you know, loved ones. And Happy New Year's. And if you're Chinese, well, sorry about that. Wrong year. Uh, Happy New Year's next year. Or... <laughs> if you're Chinese, sorry about that. Dog. Dog. <laughs> I don't know how you keep messing up tonight. Oh, yeah. This you know, is, Happy this, New this, Year's this, next year, or uh, later in a couple months. Ramadan is in March? Well, it shows what I fucking know. You know, me and Will, we, you know, we're, we took some L's. GG's, 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 GG's. 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 Oh, we got the high Q song too? Nope. Don't want to commentate this. Oh, it's, um, by the way, uh, bruv, it's winter semis. Three, two, one, go! Ah, uh, yes. The small TV. We're it's in kind of fun. It's, it's like, you, you remember that one episode of Ed and Eddie where you see Ross TV? It's got the tiny screen. Love it. Oh, we got Melty Blood music playing. I, th I, I believe they actually recently put this song in the new one. Hell yeah. Love Melty Blood music, dog. Rido doesn't miss. Also, PM players don't miss when they put music on their builds. Yeah, they, 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 they just put... All the Melty and Undernight music on it, like we everyone just, else. We just, put all, we just put every fighting game music on that everyone has. We just steal it. I'm pretty sure there's an exponentially larger amount of people that listen to the Melty Blood and Undernight music than people who actually play those games. I agree. It's <laughs> it's like how the SMT4 battle theme has four times as many views as that game has sales. Which one? Uh, Which the, one with the, the one with the 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 one one with with cowbell. Oh, you're going to talk about the Dante one. That also probably has way more views than, than Nocturne has sales. Oh yeah, Nocturne, I forget, Nocturne's a different game. Yeah, Nocturne's three. Yep, that's me Me forgetting, sorry about that. We should play those games. We should get the homies together and we'll play some. Yeah, too bad the, the HG port kind of got botched. Oh shit, uh, Shadowhawk's winning. Yeah, yeah, it's one, I mean, you know, it's one of those days. Well, he's winning until like Charizard grabs him What's nice about this matchup, though, is that like when you get start, um, as when you get off stage as Lucas, as compared to Spacey's, you don't die. You yeah. don't insta die. You just get put in a in a horrible spot where you may die. Yeah. Like there's a, or you take a lot of damage. You die or take a lot of damage, and it's nice. So it's one of the big advantages the side kids have over um over Spacey's in terms of recovery against Art. Also, yeah, Zard just doesn't insta kill him because Zard basically just die like breaks. Yeah. Specifically Falco and then Fox. A double Thundernet. Wow. How does he do it? You ever watch a Wolf Zard? I don't actually think so. It's a fun I've match. seen I, I I've seen Kai's play both those characters, but not against each other. It's um it's a matchup that you I think you you know it'd be fun for you to watch. But um it's similar to this matchup. Where uh you just get hit around a ton. By Zard, and then you just bully Zard when you touch him. Yep. You know, I think Charizard has like the meanest looking uh, chain throw I've ever seen in my life. A forward, wait, forward throw? Forward throw, and then run up, forth, back, throw, forward throw again. Just, oh, like, the throw back, him back oh. and forth. You mean the, oh, the chain grab? Yeah, the just essentially just <laughs> playing catch with oh, yourself. Oh, the back throw chain grab? Dude, I love the back throw chain grab. That's so, that's so rude looking. You know what's funny about it the most, too? What? It's not real. Really? You, if you hold if you hold in before the throw, you know, if you're holding the direction Zard's gonna throw you, uh, you get out of it for free. It's so funny looking. So yeah. when you're doing it to someone and they're getting hit with it constantly, it means that you're you're the one messing up. It's on you for getting hit by that multiple times. Fair enough. 
also will say it is easier on um because the throws are weight independent or the weight de weight dependent the lighter characters like lucas and balco uh get hit by it for free more yeah okay i i see what you're talking about uh, oh my god still you know living not living well but Ooh. living or maybe actually living well Protect chase up air forward air uh he has to get the yeah he wants to grab ledge or um, he'll just go and do it yeah that was pretty back and forth what you gotta like the mix up at the ledge is uh you either just go out and call out uh call out zard or you just hold ledge and see what and then call him out for panicking that's a 50 50 near ledge i rarely ever see kai's panic yeah so that because he didn't panic he would uh you know shadow called it out i love this song yeah he, he goes hard did you know what uh, Amsa's having a Hideki face? Really? Yeah, dude. He's, he's yeah. tweeting like Hideki. I, I did see <laughs> the tweet of like, I think it was like, it was Mango and like, was it Mango and Zane? It's like, I hate these two. It was, it was IBDW. Oh yeah, it was IBDW. Was Zane even at that tournament? No, he wasn't. He had family stuff. Fair enough. This song goes hard, dude. Yeah. Oh, he F-smashes. That was missing boy. Oh, he's in danger. Uh-oh, that's them. Uh, uh, I lied. Not I'm, quite. I'm bad at my percents. Oh, dude, and Shadowhawks get into the song. Oh, look. What, uh, what game is this from? That's a great question. It's definitely Hideki. It's a, a, is it a Jet Set? It can't be a Jet Set game. What is that new, like, spiritual successor to Jetpack oh, coming out? Cyberfu uh, uh, cyber uh, ah, oh, Cyberfunk? Cyberfunk? Ah, uh, fuck. Now I forgot. Oh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk? Bomb yeah. Rush Cyberfunk, yeah. Yeah, when's that coming out? That looked, that looked kind of sick. It should have came out this year. Uh, let me check what happened to it real quick. Shouts to the Metal Slug uh, tactical RPG that was announced. Looked really fucking cool and then dead silence for over a year. I hate it here. Yeah. Happens. But, you know, Cyberpunk will be out next year. Ooh. Hopefully, I'll, I, I'll play that. Yo, Shadowhawk's going hard on this. Oh, Kai's had to go out there and commit, but, oh, uh, yeah, that's the scary part about committing sometimes against Lucas. Oh, you just get I wonder if that was back. a misinput. input. Oh, no. Yeah. What it's a lead here. It all started because he got hit by the Thundernet. Thundernet's such a weird mechanic. It means that you can't really go out there and hit him all the time. Yeah. Because there's a chance you just get hit. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure so many people at home love the Thundernet. It's their favorite thing. One of the main reasons I play Melee. <laughs> no, no Lucas in Melee. No, 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 it's not, no just Thundernet. No, Lucas th is sick. Lucas is... that That's the boy. Love Lucas. Alright, chat. Put a, put, a, put a four in the chat if you love Thundernet. They're gonna put four. People like spamming numbers. You know people love numbers. Numbers are cool. Yeah, they're gonna spam four. Or if they don't, no one cares. Maybe they care. All right, last it's talk. It's a four if you love Thundernet, you know? Last talk situation. Oh my god. Can Kais claw his way back from this? I got a five. That's wrong. Oh, Kyle clutches it. Oh my oh, he god. Did it. He died. Jeez. I, you know, I, I opened my phone to put a 4 in the chat, and I looked back up, and Kyle won. Also, Tony, uh, HMO4 put 5. I think, that mean, I think that means extra hatred. Yeah, extra hatred. Oh, more Hodeki music? Ooh. We it, good tonight. It, it, it's, it's, it's like the Undernight and Melty soundtracks. It's, it's you know, it's the, it's, the, it's the Smasher favorite. I love Hodeki. Yeah, and Kyle, you know... Big respects to Kyle. One of the big things he's he's a he's a clutcher. But definitely, Kyle makes comebacks like you'd never believe. Kyle's clutch game, Kyle's cheese game, Kyle's neutral game, all so good. Oh wait, you know what? I don't even call them comebacks. I call them I call them dream destroyers. I I never say cheese backs or something. I'm like, hey Kyle, cheese, but cheese is okay. Cheese is tasty. Cheese is tasty. A little bit of gouda, a little bit of parmesan, a little bit of uh, brie in there. Can never be I'll never be upset. Oh, wait, no, this is this isn't Hideki music. This is this is a uh, rhythmical is... bustle from uh. I thought Hideki. No, this this is from uh, Melty. This is Rhino music. 
You know, I never realized how uh, similar this, they, they. This song their... plays in the one stage in Actress Again, which is the warehouse. Right. Yep. But it's the warehouse full of Neko or Chaoses, and they're they're like making the movie set. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember that one. It's a good stage. It raises so many questions. I remember hearing the song going and telling myself the exact name. I'm like, yo, is this Hideki? And I'm like, and then you. I think we had this conversation before about this. So much of the, so much of both these composers' discography is in is in Smash PM, so you know. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, this is insane. That uh, the Kai's the one having to play from behind constantly now. New Age. Oh my, my God. God. Oh, that. This kick. This art is so bad, dude. You just get auto comboed by that. Oh boy. That's that SDI Kyle's was Kyle's SDI crazy. is broken, dude. And he, oh, he still is actually alive. Charizard full of bricks. So the new strat people are trying to do is they're trying to SDI that out smash down and onto the stage. That's funny. There's a Zelda player in um Illinois named Tuck who I think almost like was a pixel away from doing it. It's dumb, that's wearing a fake mustache. Oh boy. Oh, oh I love how Kyle Bad. Teeter cancels a ton. No one notices that. Kai's, you know, living on borrowed time here. Yeah, but lit. That'll kill him. Yeah, that makes at sense. The, at the tender age of 189%. Upper combo finishes are cool, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah? Can Kais find a way to clutch this out? Oh, dude, this is... Oh, oh my, my god, god, he tried killing him. Oh, I didn't even realize. Ryan's still a stock ahead, actually. Yeah. I thought... I, I don't know why I thought it was last stock. No, Kai, Ryan's been, like, a stock ahead in, like, a lot of these in stages. Or his whole set, really. Maybe not anymore. Oh, nice positioning for that. Uh, gets the balloon for good measure. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah, Charizard. Oh, nice, cool. good down air. Respect, respect. That was such an insane oh, recovery. He got a little nervous at the end of that tilt. Oh, this. Sh she has a death. Oh, Lucas. That backdoor is hard to react as light characters. If you're a heavy, easy to react to. I wouldn't react to it. Yeah, you gotta be pre-holding. You always pre-hold up back against Zard. Uh, Kill? Oh, heavy, heavy moment. And decent DI. <gasps> good smash, good ASDI down. Kyle's such a good player. Uh, it, it's like not even uh, like none of the pizza toss. Damn. For a second, I thought he lived. So Kyle's ASDI down, kind of nuts. Um, the counterplay to uh, Lucas, the new, like, the current counterplay to Lucas, uh, Mag, is you a... Do you know what ACI down is, by the way? Uh, vaguely. So, okay, ACI down is just exactly when you, when you do two inputs, you can teleport yourself essentially downwards to the ground if you're aerial, if you're aerial born. Okay. And so it essentially lets you hug the ground. Like, Lucas's Mag usually sends up, right? Yeah. So if you ACI down it, you will teleport, like, essentially hug the ground. <laughs> Someone's gonna. We'll look at people. Oh no! Man, this is insane. More Melty Blood music. I, I I mess with this song so much. Yeah, Ark's the song from Actors Again. Um, I wonder if Bobby can like keep his composure in this game. Like Shadowhawks is so good at making like the the stock leads disappear from Kais. How did Kais has had like a solid stock lead so sad? Uh. Covered the ground and then he covered a dash back. That's insane. God, that was so smart from Shadowhawk. I bet Charizard tastes like chicken. Uh, back air? This might be a dead Lucas. Yeah, that is a dead Lucas. And All this right. Is, this is where Kyle usually comes in clutch. Yeah, do or die. Kais is a big do or die guy. Kyle tends to do. Oh. Oh my Nair. Nice, beautiful Nairs. Oh. This is not looking good for Shadowhawk. Yeah, or... but one touch, that's the thing. Kyle wants to take the stock now. Oh no. Uh. There, nice. Oh no, panics. That oh, that was God. a big whip punish. Doesn't get a oh, ton the off of the... Nice, beautiful up here shield. This is a big edge guard. He made it. Uh. That oh was such God. a good forward air. Yeah, oh, we gotta, Kyle, we gotta watch your shield, buddy. Oh no, whiff crab. Oh my and god! He goes out for it and gets it. 
I could feel the tension in that nair, dude. Ah, oh, but yep. Yeah. Like I said, Kyle does. Kyle does. When Stewart die, Kyle will do. This is all game. Okay, game five. Game five situation. Big one for sure. I'm curious to see how these. This, oh, this is so. Mel Cavern, infamously known as the what we call the double FT. Some yeah, it's got it the, the uh, it's got the little FT on the top. Some people call it double. It doesn't really function like a double FT IMO, but uh, you know, combo wise, it does function like that. You get a lot of combos off it. Scary dude, it's tense for both players. Oh, still, still, still living. Oh, now Kyle's pulling out the big nares. He's been saving him for game five, dude. Death. Yep. Yep. I would have for a B. I don't know. They, up there, didn't look like it was going to kill, but. He it knows. Percent. He knows the percent. When Kyle does it, it does an extra bit more damage. <gasps> that was such a good nair. That rising nair was beautiful. They covered so much. Yeah. Oh, oh he's, here tried it comes. To, he's tried to SCI so much of that combo, but Shadowhawk was ready for it. That SCI and that up air, oh my god. Oh no. Death? Yep. Jeez. By the way, that drift is hard to control right there. No one knows. It looks like it's free for Zard. No. Actually really hard to control. Uh, Bo Bobby makes it look easy. He does. It's because you don't notice the micro things with like characters drift. That's not something you think about constantly. Ooh. The ledge on. Yeah. Like you don't really, you don't like, you watch HBox and you don't really like understand why like he's what he's doing is so good, but it's it's a drift. Yeah, it, or like Mango too. Mango's drift on Falcon Box, same. When you know players like you know are so proficient with their characters, they t they tend to really just do make it look easy. It's like that for a lot of Marvel yeah. stuff too. Oh no, but now Kyle in the lead, like in control. Oh, that was beautiful back here. Yeah, this is Shut one up. of the better leads that Kyle's had. Shadowhawk has to change something up, I, don't, I think. I don't he definitely know, needs to have a really good stock here. He needs to change up his tempo, change up his uh, his approach counts, you know, etc, etc. Like, oh, it doesn't connect with the down air. That's that was big. You gotta change your dashes. Like, you gotta change. Some, oh no, he's Ooh, down nice. air doesn't connect. Uh oh, big grab. Oh, <laughs> that was scary. That was a good. That grab. that movement is so scary. All right, last stock. Last huff. stock. I don't know. That, that's scary. Oh boy. Sixty-four percent may not seem like much, but against Charizard, he's at death percent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Back this big. Up. Back so big. Up. Oh, tries to go for shoot grab. Has to roll. Tech chase. Oh. Miss. Goes for down here. Oh, that's Seth. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Gg's. Gg's. That was a. That was a set. Insane. Man, remember when we used to have like builds that like you know weren't fireside? I hate the fireside build. I'm, I, I don't hate. Okay, I don't hate the fireside build. I hate that we're using it. It's it was meant to be a one-off build. Is the problem? It sure wasn't. It was not meant to be a local build. And Dom just Dom is like, yeah, let's just use the fireside build because you know it has the new, new stuff. And I'm like, am I am I am I and Ben? Dom, this, this, you better change your build. I love you, Dom. But yeah, I'm gonna see if uh, someone wants to swap out the commentary. I'm gonna take a quick break. All right. I'll be back later, though. Hell oh, yeah. Pleasure commentating, dog. Hell yeah. All right, we got Artie versus Astastic here. Hakeem returning to us. The most handsome man in the building is back. Why, hello there, gamer. That was close. That was very close. That was very close. It is, in fact, Liquipedia, Liquipedia verified player KOF Assassin. It is indeed. Liquify, Liquipedia verified player Assassin. Against? Uh, business owner, Connecticut small business owner verified, Artie. I call him the house. 
The house, I like that. Oh my god. I do like that a lot. And the house always wins. But Peach Ness, we do not see a lot of Peach Ness. All I usually, when I see Peach Ness on the uh, character select screens for the meme, you know the meme, right? No. You don't know the meme? I do not know the meme. In any Smash game, nope. you pick Peach and then interrupt Peach with Ness. Penis! There it is. It is uh, very funny. Shout out to Penis. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Peach and Ness. Uh, yeah, we obviously see Peach Lucas every week. Uh, this matchup's a little bit... I think I think Peach mains would agree that they probably prefer this matchup compared to um, Lucas because there's not a giant up smash that kills them at 60. Yeah. So true, Malk. So true. So true. Uh, but so far, pretty even so far. Um, you know, as we always talk about with Artie, Artie's like the, the big adaptation guy. Um, I kind of think Hakeem is the same way. Like, he figures out your your patterns and your your little chinks you in your armor. Grab my little closer. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, I figure out those, you know, those little, like, little chinks in the armor. Um, and then really kind of, like, ghost thing abuses that. Although, Hakeem always complains whenever he's losing that, like, he has these, like, very, very bad habits. Like so that, true, Tony. That he always talks about that nobody else seems to find, but Artie might find those. That was quite a few pummels. Yeah, that was some lazy, uh, I'm not gonna mash type shit. And still chuck them. Oh man. Up. Oh, Ooh! Just wait. swung. Oh my god. You got hit with the Paula fry, uh, fuck frying pan. I hit with the TF2 frying pan. No, it, no, it's Ness. Paula uses a frying pan. I didn't and beat Earthbound earth earth with you. How dare you? I beat I, I beat Mother Three. Great nice. game. Uh, I I think Earthbound's overrated. There I said it. Fair. I mean, not, I'm not, not real, the, but fair. The, the the early game is nightmarish. Oh yeah, that's totally valid. Hundred percent. God, I sprint through that shit now. I hate going to like the treehouse and fighting Frank. And Getting rid of statuses shit. is unnecessarily obnoxious. It is, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. The bike is like kind of hilarious for just maybe the most useless JRPG thing ever. The bike. Yeah, exactly. Fighting the motorcycle? No, the the bicycle. Oh, you getting get, the bicycle. The, oh, yeah. Becomes yeah. useless, unusable forever the second you get a, a party, a, another party member. I feel like it's just there because they made the music track for it. I feel like uh, this match just became to down to the wire all of a sudden. Yeah, it does that. Winning. Artie is in fact winning, objectively. Objectively. But it could it could just you know all melt away if the team gets the right hit. But Peach That's right now, not the right hit. Peach is at like the, the the really good percent range where like the magnet could lead into a bear near the side and kill. Um, so we gotta watch out for that. But right now Hakim is on his last legs. Oh, he's gotta recover now, and this is where it's really rough. Oh, but the forward barely air barely playing. off the mark. Yeah, you know, Artie's playing this pretty well. Really well, actually. This is this is always a scary moment. This is where Hakim's clutch factor comes in, though. Yeah. Here's the fair. And then the Oh, uh, he's dead. Oh, he makes Wait it a already minute. with an insane DI. Oh, uh, back now air. dead. Back air takes it. There it is. That was so close by Artie, almost taking game one. Oh my god. Hair's out. Hair's I out. feel that. I do he's that. Got a, he's got to decompress. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Dude, shout we... out to how, like, look how well dressed Akeem is. I know, it's kind of crazy. He... I'm sitting here in my Pyro and Mithra this, sweater. This this dude clearly has a freaking, like, three kids, three little rugrats running around, you know what I mean? Like, the outfit <laughs> he's wearing, he's got <laughs> he, three little rugrats. He looks rug like rats. the dad in, like a, like, a sitcom. He does, yeah, exactly. He looks like, he literally just, that's, that's a sitcom dad outfit. And meanwhile, I'm, like, sitting in my, my, my like, blue jeans work boots <laughs> in Pyro and Mithra sweater hey, listen, that I got in the mail. Pyro and Mithra's awesome. Hell yeah. Although I still have not played a single Xenoblade game, and I need to. Have you played Xenogears? Uh, no, we talked about this once. I The only Xeno game I played, I played you maybe played like, an hour and a half of Xenosaga 2. That's think, the worst one. I think, yeah. Because everyone looks weird. Because <laughs> yeah. they tried, they're like, let's just make it realistic for one game, and also have this be the only one that we put out in Europe. I didn't know it was only Europe, huh? It's the only Xenosaga game Europe got. That's hilarious. Which is really funny. They deserve it. The, the I sell real estate hockey mark is so uh, kind of nuts. I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I, yeah, I think Hakeem's just like impressing onto uh, Justin's, you know, like fashion turf right now. 
They're at the exact same percent. They are, wow. Even game, guys. All right, not even anymore. <laughs> Super not even. Back to PS2, though. And I mean, again, if we're already at game one like this and Artie was already figuring out, you know, a lot of the, the right things to do, now it's just finding those those openings more. Um, although it's a little hard uh, being a stock down, but not for long. Hakeem's still already... alive. Not living well, but still alive. Ness always lives. You know that the, the noggin, the Ness's large Funko Pop shaped head yeah, is full of bricks. I'm like eight, 12 characters lighter than, than Ness. <laughs> so annoying. Well, you know, Lucas's head isn't full of bricks. That's true. It's, he's just got a lot of hair. They, they use cheaper vinyl for his Funko Pop. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'll never forgive the guy at Alt Hog who tipped me off to the neck that Ness and Lucas are just shaped like Funko Pops. Curse knowledge. See, I, I think I said this for you too. For me, I always look at them and I just see them as Fall Guys skins. Look at those eyes. You ever play Gang Beasts? No. Never heard of it, unfortunately. So it's, it's a funny game. It's sort of kind of like uh, Fall Guys, but like before Fall Guys. Oh, okay. Same general idea of you, you, you have the you have the the mobility of a toddler. Oh, great there. Oh, great fair. Wow, what a kill! Wow. Kill from Marty. Crazy. This is kind of what we saw last game, where Artie was like barely in the lead, but you know, Assassin was able to clutch it out at the end. They're keeping this close. Oh yeah. Sorry, you were saying. Uh, it's it's like one of those games where you have like toddler sort of controller of your character. Yup. Or like you're like playing something without motor skills. Yeah, yeah, that that definitely describes like the Fall Guys genre. But like you're fighting each other. It's like Smash Brothers. You're trying to knock them oh, off. Oh, that's kind of sick. But it's like fully 3D. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's a really like fun like fuck around with your friends kind of game. Yup. Maybe one of you, maybe all of you are inebriated. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe one, perhaps all of you. Your characters move like they're inebriated. That I uh, have you seen that like sumo rock throwing game? It was like a streamer game for a tiny bit. I think I think it's either it's called like throw or like it's like some basic ass name, but like literally you're just these two giant these two sumo guys and there's random boulders in your arena and you can just pick up one to two boulders and it's like such a bad modeling and they just randomly just eat these rocks at you. I've never heard of that. That sounds incredible. It's so funny. And then there's like a white boulder you can get that's just like an insta kill in the center. <laughs> it's awesome. Speaking of like insta kill, like Artie's kind of going yeah, crazy. Artie must have gimped. Uh, Astastic, because I did not realize that it was uh, Astastic's last dog. Not dead, but <laughs> this is a... Uh... Oh god, he's just standing there menacingly. Oh, the down smash! Not quite the kill yet. Oh, it must have been maybe the, the, the turn. I'm seeing Good more trade. turns out of Artie. Okay. 1-1, one, one, go to game three, totally even. This is going to be probably the closest set. If it's not me and Kyle's, it'll be, this will be the closest set of the night. I think turnips like would be like really good in this matchup. Really good in this matchup, 100% this matchup. Um, especially because the turnips will like you can just throw the turnip when you see Ness in that I'm going to PK fire you range because they either have to burn their double jump, which is really bad because then Peach is just gonna you know juggle. They're going to PK fire and it's gonna collide and then nothing happens, or they're just gonna land into the turnip. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So like if played right, like obviously it's like that like basic ass. Nest that was kinda, insane. Oh, that was nasty. You can't just what do that. Combo. Well, actually, you can't just do that because you did. But like, what? Is that, that was brutal? Let me see the rule books. <laughs> uh, Article two, section four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great down smash. Catches Ness off guard. Oh my god, that was so fast. Those aerials. Artie makes beautifully use of Peach up air. Honestly, it's so cool. Feels like Akeem is uh, trying super hard to get in. He's not playing the range enough, says uh, top player Justin Mikoshi. Uh, obviously, top tier advice. Single that... greatest Ivy Sword to ever pick up the yeah, controller. Honestly. Actually, invented Ivy Sword. Uh, it's yep. not even from Pokemon, it's from Justin's mind. You, uh, you look up like a very old black and white photo, uh, it's, it's Justin's there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, you know, w w with like a prototype Ivy Sword, it's, it's coal powered. It was called the Makoshi Sword before, but yeah. uh, they didn't like that. They said they had to be plant themed, so he was like, fine, Ivy Sword. <laughs> and they were like, great, great idea, Lord Emperor Justin Makoshi. <laughs> My liege. My liege. After Justin beat me last week, every time I talked to him, I would just say, oh, and then whatever nice descriptor adjective one, I'd be like, oh, yes, my oh, majestic one, how can I help you? And then oh, he would say, the misery? Something. Yeah, oh my god. Everybody I've never watched Arcane. My enemy. 
but Hockey now in the lead. Uh, hopefully can build up more percent, although great down smash. That's kind of the scary thing about getting hit with PK Fire. Like, Peach can just SDI to the ground and then just whip out that down smash when and, S is walking you know, in. blend you into a fine puree. Yeah, into a very fine puree. Maybe, you know, throw some chopped up banana in there too, you know. Yep. Some nice blueberries, a little bit of granola. Ooh, yeah. Make it a little, little chonky. Still though, like, still stuck ahead of uh, the jab lock into die. There it is, okay. Now this is a little bit more of a commanding lead right now for Mastastic. Uh, Artie's gonna have to definitely clean the stock up soon. Um, although the peak of Ires are doing its job. Beautiful there. Artie's not out of it yet, but this is not a fun comeback to make. My favorite uh, version of Hakim is this one right now when he uh, laughs silently and maniacally to himself after he dies, because I feel like he's just having a war with the council of Hakim voices in his head right now. Um, and like half of them are saying like disrespect him in front of the whole squad. There's and the they... one in the back like screaming as the security is trying to pull him away. He's just screaming, use PK flash. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Great bat hit. See, I start laughing maniacally when I start camping. That does sound like you, yeah. Yeah. After the 18th Electric Wood God Fist is, is black among us. <laughs> you, you, I don't even need to camp in that game. I hit them once and it's over. That's so funny. I haven't touched that since Halloween. That's so funny. I got my dub and <laughs> hey, yeah. checked out. Retired as a champ. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Undefeated, baby. Okay, I like it. We're going to, to Dreamland, bigger stage. Peach benefits a little bit more than Ness does. You know, I've shot on the Fireside build oh many times. God. I'm very happy they put this song in. The song is sick. From the Xenoblade 2 expansion. Is they battle theme? I actually started doing the lap. Yeah, Justin, so you're also mentally uh, unstable? That's pretty cool. I like it. Yo, join the club. We got t-shirts. We're going to have oh, cookies yeah. later. Here's your punch card. If you get 10 punches, <laughs> you get a free smoothie. <laughs> We're sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, NordVPN, you too can... <laughs> you, you, you too can get uh, hit by PK Flash. Honestly, uh, just imagine we just, we just code the, the visual effects for PK Flash to be like, to actually have the NordVPN logo on release. Yeah. That would be so fucking awesome. Just, it's like what they do with Street Fighter V, slap a bunch of ads on the characters. That is... No matter how tacky it looks. They're just NASCAR models now. That's actually what they did. Like, they didn't integrate it into the costume. They just put the logo on the default thing. That's, it looks so bad. That's so annoying. Oh, uh, yeah. Ryu's got the Revo logo on his ass. No way. It's not on, it's not on his ass, but it's but like still, on his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just on his default key. I mean, honestly, then you have to have a ninja skin for Ryu. That uh, would be really funny. There's, there's actual ninjas in Street Fighter. I, I mean, yeah, but I don't Oh, the guy, yeah. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, with the Red Bull headband. The, the, the uh, listen, I'm like 26. Yeah, you don't know the great Tyler Blevins. I, is that Mr. Beast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Beast! I think I respect my opponents more now, thank you very much. Well, I'm, I'm happy that you do, Justin. I love to see it, you know, respect between players, true sportsmanship. I, next time I play Justin and he and he kills me, the, the, the first stock he takes, I will pull out my loudest, most ridiculous, unhinged laugh. <laughs> just for this moment now. Oh, if Justin hits me with a with a like a solar beam, I'll just bite him. <laughs> Where are they gonna do that? React to this. I was gonna pull up my trusty pair of gamer scissors and just cut their game keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> See that? that it, oh, we, we gotta have like the anything goes bracket. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Just have an ambulance on standby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For this, it just devolves into PM Smashbox. Like, oh my god, 54% on one goddamn move? That is Just absurd. don't hold down, stupid. They are, oh my Skill god, they're, they're even again on this game board. Already, oh no, the back air! Oh, but he makes it back, can. Ast has to clean it up. Oh my god. I him, never see that move Gives up the hips. Oh my god. They don't lie. Oh, and Artie's still making it. Okay, all right. Scary moment again for Artie. Oh, oh the, the up air. air! That was so clean. Okay. He's just different. He is just different. He's constructed uniquely, manufactured one of one. He's, oh, uh, no. Every Artie is personalized. Yes, yep. I like it. 
This. Oh my god. Uh -oh. oh, the combo. That, the he, pain train. He's got so good at that jab reset. That was an insane weight on the getup attack. Wow, such percentage. See, like, this is the type of lead that is so difficult to get away from. Oh my god, he's going in! Oh, the thunder. Uh, oh, yeah. and the bear. There the, it is. The, the Fisher Price knee. Yeah. The PK Skechers. That's the Yu Gi Oh! in you. <laughs> what was that? The last. No, of course you does. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like that does sound like a Yu Gi Oh! Tony moment. Yeah. I. Oh, there, there, been... there goes Akeem, scuttling up the stairs yeah. like a hermit crab I've to uh, been... get that nicotine. Yeah, I've never been more salty in my life on homie court than when I played Malcolm in Yu Gi Oh! And he had some ridiculous, I think it was a Monarch deck, where just every single time he had like two different trap cards that were continuous that if I played a spell or a trap it would activate and he could just like tribute something and destroy it and then he had a monster that would just do like any monster that pops up so like anything I did during my turn he just called it our turn because it would take like and he would chain them off of each other so like I would draw and then he would activate and then chain off of that so then like I'm sitting there I'm sitting there forever waiting to go and then it's standby phase and now I get to play and I, this is why I, I don't fuck with card I games I drop one card and then he activates three more things and then they just die and then I have no cards to play and I'm like okay cool okay oh I'm on stream okay good luck thank you this is, this is why I don't fuck with card games you people are crazy first of all where do, where do card game players get the money like this seems like an endless investment also known as a scam a hustle if you will What do you mean? What, what What do you mean? What's wrong with the word scuttle? Luigi does it. Yes, these are all things Konami does, uh, Tony. I think they're built incorrectly. I think there's a factory flaw. You have to be insane to do that shit. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh. Why, hello? We got Zubat with the, with the Diddy. Yeah, Zubat been rocking the Diddy and the DDD all day today. Mostly Diddy. Because uh, his controller for his, that he usually uses uh, is not working, so he can't do like the stuff that he normally do with like his main, his mains, mains, secondary mains, his characters. So he's just playing like other characters and taking it a little less serious, uh, from what I hear. <laughs> Let's go. Let's but go. But that's not shiny. <laughs> we gotta get him a shiny Zubat. Give your uh, mic a little closer. <laughs> How's that better? Yes. Be honest, because maybe it could have gotten a plug. I can still hear it. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. It's a little quiet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We got a, a button check. Oh, we're checking buttons out here. Oh, oh, I think you mean hand warmers. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, been been in the uh, the FGC mines. Yeah, we don't play casual. Yeah. Trying to explain what a frame trap is to someone who plays Smash is impossible. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, Okizeme, it's kind of like a ledge trap. <laughs> I try to explain an option select. Like a lot of them are better about it now. But they're like, oh, that's when you like, you know, choose what to do based on like. Uh, on if you control their options, like you're, it's an option select. I'm like, no, no. Option select is one input, multiple output, based on you know what's happening. Also known as playing Melty Blood. <laughs> <laughs> is that like very option select heavy? Oh yeah. Oh wow, he went for the uh, the yeah. fully charged nut gun. Yeah, that would have been insane. I've never actually seen that. Hit. I've seen it hit in like doubles, usually like. Back early in alt when doubles were popular, uh, shield breaks. Right. The easy one hit combo. Still though, uh, 
not super uneven. Because uh, yeah, Lucas stock is kind of forfeit. All things considered, unless uh, oh Shadowhawk bet it all on that neutral B, which I like. He's at high percent. He's got to make every hit count. And I mean, he here is... comes the deficit. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I think he was dead actually. Maybe not. Shadowhawk has gotten an incredible amount of mileage from this stock. Yeah, jeez, he's an electric car out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it seems his Tesla has driven off the road. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. The Sinai uh, Zubat uh, Diddy Kong, though, not bad. Honestly, I I was worried it was going to be rough, but you don't get to be as good a player as Zubat and not be able to play basically anyone. Yeah, during uh, Sandy's set when Zubat was commentating, Zubat has a lot of knowledge on Diddy Kong. Okay. Yeah, Definitely knows his stuff. Could have been working on this for a while. Although, uh, you know, the, the up smash does not care. Not at all. And I feel like, so Diddy Kong and, uh, and Lucas are like similar weight classes, like weight and gravity. Oh, so. Oh, wow. Wow. And it and killed. Even up, just like that. Yeah, not even 35%, not even that much. Yeah, as long as you're like under 60%, you're still like in crouch cancel percent. I think like 60% is a pretty important number because after that, like crouch cancel on certain moves, uh, certain moves start to break crouch cancel and the neutral becomes a lot harder. If we were all like, that was an insane down air. If we were all like crouch cancel fiends, which we are because we play PM, but if we were like super crouch cancel fiends and we're really, really good at it, we would see the neutral play out way differently in most matches. I can imagine. Yeah. Play Samus, I you know I I, I know my way, way around a crouch cancel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean if you do it right, like nothing is safe other than like grab in most cases, or like meteors, and like landing meteors are generally it's generally not easy to land a meteor. Only like characters like Fox and Falco can really like pressure and Wolf characters with like shines can pressure for uh, for real. And not have to fear crouching for the most part. Shadowhawk's ground movement so good. Didn't get the tech. Yeah, rough, rough position. But hey, 109% on Diddy Kong. This is his game to lose. Ooh, Through that forward air just doesn't care. A little twinkle toes. That bear has so much range. It doesn't seem like it would for how quick it is. But it's really spooky. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh. he was. He, he cooked so hard, he, he put his hand on the stove. Yeah, <laughs> so true. He burned himself. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he was onto something. Uh, that was definitely like an up B to hit, keep the edge guard going. That could it could have been a totally different W. That star could have been on Zubat's name right now. But the, instead, it's on Shadowhawk's name. The infinite possibilities that could have been. Tim, uh, Ness's jab is pretty big. I guess I don't notice because like Charizard's massive, so I don't see it as often. It's like this, it's like the size of like eleven Diddy Kongs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. He was going for something there. Yeah. I don't know what, but it was something. I've been hit by that like lingering uh, up B where they like wait it out and then they hit you when you get too close. I've been hit by that. It actually meteors if you get hit by the like middle of the hitbox. Really? Uh, but it's it's a pretty strong hit regardless. You know, I was today years old when I I, I was told that DDD forward smash off stage can spike. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen it happen, but now I want to because that's some like whack-a-mole shit. It is. I I've seen it like one time, but I remember when it happened. I was like, that's insane. Speaking of insane, uh, Magnet. Yeah, I know. Magnet's one of those moves I'm like, I can't believe they thought this was okay for any character to have. He needs it. He needs it. He really does, though. Uh, to be completely honest, like... It's like the key part of his toolkit. Yeah, without it, he's... It's just a bunch of, like, random moves on a character. Yeah. A oh, really good bait out on the grab there. And the back air to kill him all the way from the top, it sends him all the way to the bottom. That's like so cool looking. Shadowhawk's ground movement's really good, where he's so good at like essentially forcing you to play like footsies and force you, force you to bait out and attack. Right. 
It's yes. it's sort of like a like a dandy step, if you will. A what? It's a it's a, it's a guilty gear move. Uh oh, For, who's guilty gear move? Say it again. Uh, Slayer's dandy step. It's a move where Slayer will duck back or. Oh, think about, okay, I know what you're talking about. about. Yeah, think about Dudley from Third Strike, where yeah. he ducks back and then goes back in. Yeah, I, I know what it looks like. It's like he looks very stretched out when he does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the, the funny smear frame. It leads into, like, punch, grab, or... Most of his, half his special moves, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and here it comes, the Bowser. The Zubat Bowser. Okay, I've seen his Bowser before. Every time I'm like, why? Not that it's bad, because it's not. It's just not... I wouldn't, you know? Yeah. Oh, that could have been it. What was he cooking? Oh, uh, well, yeah. This, the oven seems to have exploded. Yeah, Zoobs just lets it go. He's like, I missed the side B grab. It's too much of a deficit to keep going. <sighs> a rough, rough one today for, for Zoobs. No controller. Um, that's a bummer. I've been there. Braver man than I to willingly pick Bowser against Lucas. Yeah, true. True that. I would have just tried it. I would have just tried to play my main. Those know? are the players I fear the most of the people who played the, the horrible matchup with confidence. Yeah. Like there's a little Mac something. that made top eight yesterday and uh <laughs> and all and I'm like, oh little Mac like excited to fight a Rob I, yeah. is is a player I fear more than anything. <laughs> what right? do they know? Exactly. What do they know? And speaking of players who have big noggins, Wombat and Artie, both uh the battle large of the mines players. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's What's Squirtle thinking under that hat? What what do what do those shades obscure? What, what the, the the evil in his eyes? I just realized Wombat's hoodie is Squirtle's sunglasses. When he puts the hood up, he looks even more like Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, actually. If Squirtle had with some sort of strange like oddly shaped head with a very, <laughs> with uh... another face coming out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like that one JoJo stand, uh, King Crimson. <laughs> oh shit. Man, why? Props to Wombat and Zoops for making it out. No Hell Mole yeah. Drifter today. Yeah, unfortunate. Mole Drifter was in chat earlier, though. Oh, was he? Yeah. And, you know, J Zubat did go uh, DDD earlier. True. You know, for the spirit. Like Mole Drifter's main, King DDD. BBB. The, the bane of the Midwest, apparently. <laughs> yeah. They do. I mean, they deal with players like Jank, and Jank's playstyle is definitely. Is it Jank? It is jank. It is so difficult to, to deal with. I played him like three times over one weekend, and every time it was close, I learned more and more every time I played. And I feel like, honestly, there's if jank were slightly stronger in certain aspects of his game, like his like um, his punish were harder, he'd be unstoppable. Unfortunate SD there. Yeah, rough one. Come on, Artie, not like this. This is such a weird matchup. Yeah, he ran into uh, the Battle of the Shorties. Uh, Squirtle now, and then a second ago he was playing against Ness. He's playing against these tiny little baby characters. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Baby characters. For, for babies. For babies. I mean, Squirtle is essentially like a baby Pokemon. Yeah, he's yeah, you're not wrong. First form of a far larger and far cooler turtle. Yeah, true that. With guns. With guns. I feel like all the coolest... I feel like if you give a Pokemon guns, they're instantly cool. Do you think Octillery is cool? Sort of. I like the idea of, like, of Octillery. I like Beta Octillery way more because it's more of a tank. Yeah, like, I was saw supposed Beta to be. Octillery. Also, it took me forever to realize Remoraid is a gun. Yeah, I didn't realize that at first. I was it, like, what's it, the It just looks here? like a fish. Yeah. I realized it, like, eventually, but, like... At first, for sure. Like, literally years before I realized. Someone, like, told me, he's like, by the way, you know he's a gun. And artillery is, like, artillery. And I was like, oh, oh. But they pr they probably have to change it to be less firearm-like for the for the kids, you know? Yeah. Even though the kids would probably have liked the gun way more. Uh, I, uh, Mikoshi, Ivy is a teenager. And Ivysaur is the chubby teenager who... Uh, Turns into a far chubbier adult. Yeah, basically me. Basically my teenage years. When you grow up, you become a stall Pokemon. A what? A stall Pokemon. Is that what I, oh yeah, 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 stall. <laughs> At least I think Venusaur is stall. I have no idea. I've seen him do like, uh, sun teams with uh, speed. Oh uh, yeah, sun teams. That's the gen five. Yeah. <laughs> Hell world. Imagine playing weather for every team. 
Rain, what, what, what could possibly go wrong with, you know, Swift Swim and Rain being good? Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to play a team with uh, Rain Dance. I feel like it'd be a good idea. Yeah, Who needs Rain Dance when you have Drizzle? Drizzle. Shout out to Politoed. <laughs> it's, it's singular use. Speaking of uh, singular use, I, I don't know, actually. Uh, Wombat won that. <laughs> singular game. Yeah. He singularly used his controller to Learning and ad adaptation. Right. Because it, it's like kind of hard to study when no one touches this character. Except <laughs> yeah. for like, you know, Wombat. Yeah, there, there's, there are other Squirtles, but like... Not, not that travel very often. Yeah. There's only one Wombat. I can see Artie's like gears turning. He keeps trying things to like deal with the recovery and how to edge guard Squirtle. But uh, nothing's really landed yet. Oh, that was such a good edge cancel from, uh, oh, yeah. from Wombat. Yeah, smart gameplay. His movement's so good. What a that was a. That was a funny grab. Yeah, and that's a Squirtle's mix-up is he can either down throw you, which just hits hard, or he can forward throw you, which hits you barely anywhere, especially if you DI in, and it leads into like up smash or fair or other things. And uh, But if you DI out, he might down throw you, because they're both pretty quick, and then you get hurt like this. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, Squirtle armor. So he has light armor on his Nair and his side beam, among other things. I don't know if there's anything else. I think it's just the Nair. But his Nair will go will definitely go through small hits like Peach's Umbrella. That's really good because Peach's Umbrella is usually a really good like kind of defensive thing for her. Oof, that was not the DI. But uh Still though, Wombat definitely has the, the lead here. Okay. And that Dakis is gonna Further that lead even more. Mikoshi, why aren't you here? That's what I'm saying. This, this is already like an extremely go. stacked bracket. Yeah. Mikoshi did great last year too. Or last year, last week. He did a fantastic last week. Yeah. What, what does that mean, Mikoshi? What, what does the rat mean? <laughs> Uh, the, the the choice of a, a Dreamland here is really working out for Squirtle. Yeah, which is surprising because I feel like this is one of Squirtle's worst stages because he struggles to kill sometimes unless he can edge guard you, and he's edge guarding Peach pretty well and getting and landing those skills, but it's not easy. He's been, it's been almost all up smash. He's, he's just, just flying around. Yeah, the pressure is so hard to deal with, and Artie's slowly trying to figure it out, but nothing's landed. What the mosquito just harassing Artie, yeah. like siphoning his blood? <laughs> Ooh, that was almost sick. Oh, it gets away. Oh, wow, what a mash. That mash. This is a really rough spot for Artie. Yeah, it's not gonna kill, but not living well. Yeah, this is a rough spot to be in. Fair enough, Makoshi, I feel ya. Is this gonna be it? Yep. Wow, yeah. Wombat lets out a sigh, like, or like a, a sigh of relief, just like, whew. but he like just three-stocked Artie, but I get it. I think I do that every time I play against Artie too. Artie can just insta-download at some point. Like yeah. right now he's uh he's got his VPN active, the <laughs> connection isn't as stable, you know, sometimes it, it dips. But like every now and then his fiber kicks in. Someone has unplugged Artie's Ethernet cord. Yeah. And he's now suffering from packet loss. <laughs> Crab lights, there it is. He's oh but he, he, he got a hard line adapter. Yeah. I'm glad he had the nerve to go back, because this is definitely the stage. Grab ledge. Oh, I. Oh. That was so smart. That was sick. Man, okay. He killed him. Two stocks in the lead, but we did just see Wombat win with three stocks, so this means he can. Uh, uh oh, what is happening? Uh, he's. 
He's, there, there's there's some thought process to this recovery, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not smart enough to understand, but it worked. Yeah. My brain's too puny. I give, I do a solid 50-50 mix-up. If you guess right, you know what? I deserve to die. Wow, that armor through the hits of down air. That's interesting. This matchup is so weird. weird. Yeah. Although being able to armor through the hits of down airs feels like incredibly good for yeah. Squirtle. Oh yeah. Down air is such an integral part of Peach's toolkit. And to be able to neutralize that to some extent, that's got to be like a, a big win. Ooh, oh, he went for it. it. Bubble is such an interesting move. Yeah, it puts you into a uh, crumple or trip, basically. Oh. That's three SDs. Well, no, no, no. two? I, I think two? Yeah. Or maybe two. like, one of those was, was like a really strange edge guard. Right, yeah, it's hard to say. But I mean, hey. Take we take those. those. <laughs> All right. All, all's fair in love and war. True, true. Oh, this is a big. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to make stuff happen here. Yeah. Oh, you gotta take advantage of those upbeat landings. Squirtle has a lot of landing lag on his upbeat. Yeah, a bit of a Chicago punish there from a uh, party. <laughs> Does Chicago punish the like when you just you can hard punish something and you go up and grab them? You grab or like hit him with like chab or something? <laughs> yeah. Not even like a sweep. No knockdown. <laughs> yeah. Just a just a plain old small punish. No, the, the sickest ones are when you block the DP, then do, then get the jump in punish. You still have enough time to do a jump then yeah. uh, kill him. Still though, Wombat's kind of still not Wombat. Uh, already still kind of sitting pretty. Nah. As you say that though, if Wombat wins this, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> That's such a good sound effect. Yeah. A dunk. Still living. Uh, okay. Not... I don't even know what, what Peach did there. She I just think like, Yeah, probably. But it looked like she just like said, no, die. Like for <laughs> touching me. <laughs> Perish. It's, it's the Watchmen panel. Yeah. Talk to Manhattan like. <laughs> Perish. You will be no more. Wombat's like, do it! That's a, that ho the horrible Watchmen movie by Zack Snyder. I like that movie. Was it bad? Was it it's, considered bad? It's it's considered pretty not good. Really? It's, at least compared to the comic. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine. The, you, you don't see Dr. Manhattan's junk that much in the comic. <laughs> yeah, what's that about, huh? You get a uh, you get a lot of shots. <laughs> I want to go to a. I, I keep wanting to say town and city, but that's not a thing in this game. I commentated <laughs> all for five hours straight yesterday. Fair enough. What's the punish? Smashville. The no punish, punish. There's so much landing lag on that. You gotta you gotta think of your biggest combo. Go for sweep. Go for sweep. Sweep the legs. At least get a grab. You know something. Get, a, get like a knockdown, do a safe jump. This is a fairly good start for Wombat. Oh, no. Yeah. Very good awareness there. Ooh, that was Did actually it. reverse hit, but he bounced off the stage so hard he died anyways. To be fair, yo, I wouldn't expect to tech there either. Yeah. I think, I, like, I rarely ever see that move uh, reverse hit. Yeah. You know what I don't see Artie do a lot? I don't know if he knows that you can like um, float out of the ledge jump uh, in this game with Peach. It's like very good. You can also like ledge jump, um, ledge jump uh, air dash, not air dash, air dodge, <laughs> air and, dash. Uh, and uh, which is not something that's in melee. So like. It's very helpful for a character like Peach who have a double jump that dips down first. Still holding on to this third stock though. Oh, oh but got clipped. Tagged. It's pretty even uh, before that. Yeah? I mean, he, the Wombat is at 60%. Not that uh, Squirtle's crotch cancel game is all that.
how they work. Which is, I guess, what function means, but like, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. what it's to do. Uh. Still, though. Out. He calls out the high recovery and just murders him at pretty early, 85 ish. Kind of crazy. He's moving. Oh, yeah. They, and, and I thought turtles were slow. Yeah, right? Squirtle speed stat is not this good in Pokemon. True. It's not accurate at all. For a second there, I thought he uh, died. The, 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 the Squirtle up goes way higher than I always think it does. Yeah, it's because, like, he can... I think it's if he's, like, died. holding forward, he goes less far, but more diagonally. And if he holds, like, back, he just kind of goes straight up almost. I really don't know, but it definitely goes higher than you'd expect. Yeah. All right. Ah, that's All me. right. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. All right, we got Kais versus someone on stream. Charizard. That's Charizard. Okay, it's Kais versus Assassin. That's why there's no one in the chair. Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Top, top 50 player says what? Fuck, that hurt. Did you say your keys? No, oh, no, I sprained my ankle, um, and so I just kind of like I didn't realize how low this couch was, so I just like went back and I just bent my ankle. That was all. It's okay. I had so I've like never like ever had like any like honestly I've never literally never sprained anything, broken anything ever in my life. Really? Um, never, never once. And I like I like I, I did like the tiniest bit of parkour when I was like younger and like would like do stuff like I did like technical and stuff for a while. Never got injured. Like just never like had a bad injury, and like. When I when I fell really bad, I was like stuck in the middle of the woods. No one was around me, and I had that like adrenaline moment of like, oh my god, did I just like break my fucking legs? It was like hurting so bad. Um, and then the next night, I was like, I was like still walking. I can still walk on it. Like I can put weight on it. It doesn't hurt that bad. I was like, I'm sure it must have rained. It must be fine. But dude, my ankle looked like a fucking balloon. And I literally thought, I, for a moment, because it's all on the right side here, it was so swollen. I thought my bone was just kicked out this way because it was so swollen. And I was like, am I just walking at this the entire day? I like installed a door that day, like in my house, like a bunch of, I did a bunch of yard work and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, have I just had like a severed like fucking leg? Oh, and it was, dude, I had, I had such, I had such a bad freak out moment a couple days ago. It was rough. Like, oh my God. But That's in other real. news, I'm good. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. All worst case scenarios have been avoided. Honestly, yeah. And now I get to do the total guy thing of just telling Jess, see, I'm fine. Like, it all worked out, and <laughs> she gets so pissed. <laughs> no, no, babe, I'm fine. It's like, you know, my ribs are, like, sticking out. <laughs> I'll be fine. Tis I'll walk it scratch. off. All right, we have though. not seen this matchup in a while. It's been months. It's been months since Hi uh, Astastic it. has been here going against Kyle. Uh, Kyle's had to deal with my spacey ass, and now he's got to deal with, with Ness, which actually is... It's it's arguable which one's more annoying for Charizard. Um, I think neutral is more annoying for Charizard with Lucas, um, but I think uh, there are a lot of more, like, random scrappy situations that are really dumb in Ness's favor in this matchup. Um, yeah. So it should be interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank there you. you go. All right. Uh, wow, had all the time in the world for that one. What the kill? This is still pretty even. Uh, here comes the uh, the pain train. I love the back-to-back -back forward airs. It's so good. Oh, Just caught on. the jump. 
And I know edge guarding is a little bit more annoying for Kyle because he can't just rush out like you can do with Lucas because Ness has some of that invulnerability on startup of PK Thunder. Which is bullshit, but um, anyways. Oh, great grab. Goes to the back throw instead, gets the up air. Yep, yep. more consistent. Confirm. Kill, kills the balloon. I don't think we do if the back row was gonna kill there, so that was smart. Oh, uh, but here comes. Oh, oh, gets the up air. Gets out of the way. Oh, great! This blender. Great, great combo so far. Oh, nice up Dude, He's got. He's been doing the up out of shield so much. It's so strong. He's Lizard Fire, Fire Lizard Mark. That's what he is. Because he's not a dragon, remember? Charizard's not a dragon. Okay. Yeah. He's a shitty lizard. Imagine if we times for a week to rock. Could it be me? What was that? Imagine if we times for a week to rock. Yeah, honestly, that sucks. Could not be me. Imagine losing half your health when you come in on self rocks. That was by Talon Flame, so. It hurt. Yeah, but Talon Flame also kind of fucks shit up. Yeah, so true. Dude, freaking priority roost. <laughs> Crazy! I, I hate I hate Game Freak. They, they make the most disgusting decisions. But also, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore now, because Talonflame's not my favorite bird Pokemon anymore, so... Really? Oh, yeah, Corviknight. Have you seen Corviknight? That's the most Shadow Hawk thing I can get. It is a Shadow-like bird. I mean, it's a, it's a Raven, which stinks. I mean, Ravens are awesome, too, but... A shout out to Anthony. Yeah, shout out to Anthony. My favorite bird Pokemon is Blaziken. Nice. Because it's nice. a chicken that it kills things with its yeah. feet. And that's pretty epic. And speaking of killing things with your feet, uh, Ness right now, doing some work. Kais is on his last legs in this first match. Can he get the, this back throw? This is back throw kill? Yep. Back throw kill. There it is. Off the top. Game one going to Astastic. Hat, hey, had a stock to work with. Um, you know, definitely we saw Ness winning a lot more in the neutral there. Like, he was just extending and carrying on these combos more. Like, we're not seeing like normally within my sets against Kyle. When Kyle gets the hit, it's he can he's gotten very comfortable with being able to um, just carry me in any situation. Oh my god! Oh no! I can't take any game seriously oh. when they're playing on the stage with the fucking Simpsons hit and run yeah. music. Well, I keep donating a stock there. That felt very Simpsons hit and run right there. No, yeah, exactly. Like they're playing the hit and run soundtrack. Yeah. No, I I got you. I got you. Yeah, this is a pretty uh. This does not really have much of a of a chill vibe. Much of a, like, a, a fighting This is like some vibe. Looney Tune shit. Oh my god, that was some Looney Tune shit. Holy shit. Well, yeah, he didn't need the stock. He just totally evened that out. Did he, I mean, he didn't need the stock last set, last game. Man, magnets on magnets on magnets. How do they work? Yo, science is in. How do they work? The, the, it's the, uh, the insane clown <laughs> posse yeah. song. Oh my god. Zoomers don't even know about that, do they? They don't. I... Uh, the first first uh, very big ICP fan I met uh, was in Greenfield Mass. Big surprise, we were in Greenfield. Makes sense. Did they, uh, have, a, did they have the face paint? Oh, they, 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 they did it all. So they were a real juggalo? They did it all, baby. Uh, yeah, it was... Um, they were very nice. Uh, they came out on a very snowy day, and they didn't want to leave because it was snowing so hard. So I, I, I got into a very in-depth conversation with that, that person. Can't remember their name now at all. It's been, like, did, way too long. Did they know about about magnets? I, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, he he did he, he didn't try to steal any of the video games that were stuck in the magnet boxes. You know what I mean? So maybe he knew them well enough to know that he couldn't get the game out. Oh, it doesn't get anything off the forward air, but now it's just so crazy. No punish. It's so crazy how explosive and how strong uh, Astas's punish game is, especially on such a big character. He gets just a little bit more breathing room throughout the combos, and he really takes very big advantage of that. It's definitely. One of the scariest punish, escape, punish games I, I, you can see around here. 100%. Oh, wow, got back. I personally am really hoping um, Kyle wins this solely just so I can actually play Hakeem uh, on set on stream because our sets are always well, so you, you fun. You can play him in Grand Finals, right? That's true, I can play him in Grand Finals. I mean, it was Game 5 to, uh, today, so it was doing, we're doing pretty good. Still, like, you know, sitting pretty here. Oh, gets the grab. Oh! Really, really good DI from uh, from Astastic getting out of that back throw. That's the big thing with Charge that you have to do is you have to always DI for back throw because it's the fastest one. Everything else you can react uh, reaction DI out of. Um, and I'm happy I'm giving this advice because if you watch my sets, I'd never do that. 
There it is, down air, back air. Kais did get 63% off of that. That's not too bad. He got a little bit, a little bit of a of a rebate on this stock right now. Oh, he almost gets the sneeze off. Yo, and he, he got just, a little combo for it too. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's dead. And it kills. Yeah. Honestly, this music is just it's loopy it's clown shit. Tunes. This, this, this seems like you know like an itchy and scratchy bit from The it, Simpsons. It really does. Yeah. Except like not quite. Well, it's still pretty violent actually. All things considered. And then Akeem the, the oh, gets the grab. Off oh. The oh no! He had oh. to give, he gave him the quick down throw chump check. Okay. So. 88. percent All I'm saying is which one's Homer, which one's Marge. Oh, between these. Oh my God. I uh... I. I, I I can see Kyle being both. <laughs> Kyle with the hair. <laughs> oh my god. I think I can see... I don't, I don't know if I can see Hakeem as a homer though, so I think by default he'd be Marge, but I really don't think it's either. Kyle's both and Hakeem's none. Hakeem's Bart. Yeah, I can see that. Uh. Eddie, we all know who Dama is, Bill House. <laughs> Oh, and he gets, and he gets the back throw. That, game two, that was a close one. Game two, going to Hakeem. <laughs> no, Dom's Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> oh no, God. that's the bully. Oh, wait, wait, that's Ralph Wiggum's the haha. Oh, I'm in danger. danger. Oh, you're right. That's I'm not in danger. danger. Yeah, you're right. That is the bully. Haha's the bully. <laughs> Kevy's the bully. Kevy's the bully. <laughs> he yeah. plays League of Legends. Oh my God, what a combo. What a that's the, ripper. That's the second zero to death this uh, in a row. Yeah. Yo, Keem's kind of go going wild here. Yeah. At least the music changed. Yeah. It, make, it makes sense that Kai would go back to the stage two. I think this is one of Charizard's nicest stages. Uh... But this right stage... Out. The music here has gives you the most tonal whiplash ever between games. You can listen to like the Torna battle theme, or you can listen to fucking Disney copyrighted now Simpsons hit and run music. I mean, hey, listen, my favorite is uh, listen, Bird Build has um, September, but Animal Crossing. That's pretty bad. No, it's amazing. I love uh, it. Is, I love is it. Paralyzer still on Metal Cavern here? It is. Yes. Hey, I, I, you don't I, like Paralyzer? It, You're not it, Paralyzer. Every by time the same I old hear antics? Paralyzer in this context, in, in the PM video game, it, it causes my brain to melt. Yeah, fair. Uh, and I don't know how, but it's Motobug's fault. I, I think probably the most frustrating one for me is um, when uh, there's a Biggie Small song on Dreamland in the Chad build. Uh, and, like, it's just. It, it, it's mostly because, like, I really don't like lyric songs. The only exception is realistically, like, the Sonic songs. I just somehow have, like, blurted out the the lyrics. Like, it you just can't get mad at Crush song. 40. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, man, right now, Hakeem is running away with this. This might be a 3-0 right now. That would be crazy. I think, I mean, to be fair, I think this is one of those things where Kyle is... You know, he has not been He's... comfortable with the matchup in a while now. But to for Ness, on the Ness side of it, is again, it's a big body character. So if your punish game is strong, and we all know Astaz's punish game is so strong. It's like, scariest. It, yeah, it doesn't matter quite as much uh, to be away from a Charizard like this for so long. Oh, gets the soft in his knees. Oh! And he does it again, a 3-0 against good, Kais. Good stuff, Astastic. Winning 3-0 for Kais. Remember, Great he's stuff. bad. Oh my god, Wombat again. I'm... Oh no. Alright, well, this is it. Alright, All right, good, good luck. Ah, oh, look at it. Look at him run up the stairs. Why does Dom have pigtails? Excuse me? I don't know why they gave they gave Don pigtails. Have a seat, Donkey Kong. There you go. Let's put put the put the mic up to your mouth. Ah, 
Just, uh, you know, move Donkey Kong here. <laughs> what Donkey Kong ever do to you? Don Don <laughs> Hello? It's, it wouldn't be the first time I've been attacked on, on stream. <laughs> ah, this is so nice. I didn't get double eliminated by Hakim. I don't have to get Ness down aired. Ah, uh, today was a good day. I mean, I did get Lucas down aired a lot, but you know what? Oh, they picked Smashville? Is that a PS2? Nani? So we got Womb versus, uh... <laughs> I mean, Womb versus versus Shadowhawk. So who won uh, Winner's Finals? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, who came through? Okay. Jeez. Yeah, it was insane. That doesn't uh, surprise me. Remember, Keem's bad at the game. Yeah, right. I should have known better. So bad, so ugly. <laughs> You're saying late, right? We're playing fighting games? Of course. Have my laptop set up in the back. Heck yeah. We gotta get you off commentary. Gotta force a to play lovely people with me. <laughs> Can't escape this time. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can't escape from crossing fate. You can, it's just, it just won't go very well. No, you can't, because I also have BB tag. You can't escape from Oh, this. no! It's gonna nine unblockable you. Please, no, I have three kids. I'm sorry, Kais. It, people do hype up your losses because it is rare. Wait, is he even here? He's in the corner, just texting us? The he's, hell is this? He's, he's in the Kaisa. What is this? <laughs> but you know, it's a good thing that your losses are rare because that means you're really good at the video game. Can you hear me say this? And <laughs> lose more, thank you, Tony. <laughs> Tony is just always like aggro on. No, you see, Tony needs to come out. Tony enter doesn't. one. Oh my God, Tony's gonna enter one bracket so that I can win against him. So I'm not negative against him. Right now, I'm all one against him, and he's. Gonna, I refuse to enter another bracket to play you, Tony. Please. No, Tony will only enter when uh, Shadowhawk's not here. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, he did it. Wow, he's just dead. God, what a bad Christmas present. No! The smoke sticky Yoshi man. That's me. I'm See, I'm, I'm, I'm even against Tony. No one asked you. <laughs> How? Because I've never fought Tony, baby. Oh, zero, zero. <laughs> I think said Tony could probably like crunch me up into a basketball and start dribbling me. Yeah, yeah, that's Tony. See, exactly. Tony knows. <laughs> Most of his wins never count. The struggle. Listen, you know, I'm, a, I'm a big name at Hog. I got fifth here once. What? <laughs> I entered once as a joke and I got fifth. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I camped. Who did you beat? Uh, I beat Toma. Uh, I beat uh, Cake. And that's it. I went 2-2. Two -two. Hey, yo, we take those 2-2s. Two I, I was a consistent 2-2-er two back in my day. Hey, that's what I am today. I'm a 2-2-er. Two -two ah, uh, base. Oh, uh, yeah, also this is last stock, last hit. They're exact, it, it was for a second exactly the, the same percent too. This? Oh, oh, that was almost so good. I like that he realized he couldn't get the up smash, so he decided to follow and wait, but didn't make the right decision afterwards. Oh, oh no, that Ooh. was it. What that a, get what up does. is so slow. He does like a like a Dark Souls fat roll. Uh, pizza pizza time. Yo, you know about Pizza Tower? Yeah, is that the Wireland game that's coming out? Yeah, it looks sick. I'm so excited. I can't wait. We heard the soundtrack. It's so good. I, I only heard like the demo stages, but I want. What does it come out? Uh, I think suit. Or I think like first quarter next year. I'm excited. Uh, let me just. They have an official release date. Let me just Google that. Google that. Cause I'm. I'm also gonna be on that. Uh, 
uh, soon. Going to PS2 here. I'm surprised. Well. I'm actually not that surprised. Both these players like this stage a lot. It comes out in January 2026th. Uh, oh! So yeah, like a month away. Soon. Can you believe it? Pizza Tower, only a month away. Ooh, just, just not respecting PK Thunder. Yeah, did not care. This is actually a run back, I believe. This is, yeah. Because Wombat, uh... I, I think Wombat won last time? No. Uh, Shadowhawk won barely. It was very <laughs> close fight, uh... Game five. You're right. It was in game four, yeah, where Shadowhawk barely came back and brought it all back. The, the last Sawhawk, Hawk, if you will. But right now, though, uh, Wombat's sitting in a pretty comfortable position. Oh, and lands the Dacus, but doesn't die. Wow. It got the sour spot. Okay. That didn't even look like a sour spot, too. They're, they're both so slippery. Yeah, I think Lucas is, uh... Although he is slippery, too, I think he's the better character, unfortunately. Pizza yeah. Guy. Squirtle's really good at, like, kind of, like, tripping away at you, moving around, getting all those hits. But Lucas, I'd say, is more explosive. Like, like this. Although, you know, Squirrel, a little, a little awkward to combo. Also, Lucas does stuff like that. Yeah, is that all plus anyway? It, it, it is just kind of like mashing plus frames on someone. Just close slash them. Look at, look at Wombat go. That was, that was a 69 stock. What a nice forward air. And it was, oh my god. Now it's yeah. gone though. You only get one. Yeah, you're right. You get the power up and then it's gone. That was a really good macro walk, holy shit. Oh no, the, the Shadowhawk SD, the rare limited edition. Still in box, mint condition. <laughs> time to price time to time to scalp it and price gouge it on eBay. For the for the low price of two ninety nine. The money. I wish all scalpers if very die. Yeah, trying to get my hands on the Metro Dread Special Edition just never happened. Never, never happening. Imagine having a PS5. I actually had a chance to buy one, but I was like, I don't care about it, so I put it back. There's like no exclusive for it, like two years in, so like, why even bother? What games are on it that aren't on PC or next other next gens? Ratchet and Clank. Okay. The second Last of Us 1 remake. What's different about it? Is it just the same game? Uh, it costs $70. It's just a high def remake. Well, the high def remake came on PS4. This is the new higher def remake. What? They released a PS4 game again and they're charging people again for it? Yeah, but now it's $10 more expensive than when it originally came out. Fucking Christ. Oh, it also has a bunch of accessibility features, so now all the disabled people have to pay more to have those features in the game. That's... I mean, like... And don't forget a PS5. Yeah. Uh, what else is exclusive to PS5? The fact that you're having a hard time thinking about it is, uh... It's less than five games, like, actually. Yeah, like, I can't... I think there's a, there's a Gran Turismo, maybe? Maybe, uh... There's like, a t there's, like, a tech demo game. I would say God of War, but that's... God kind of, of War of Ragnarok. It's on... Well, it's on PS4 too. Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, so you don't even need a PS5 to play it. Uh, shout out to the PC. I think all the exclusive, the good exclusives, are coming out next year. I think also they're also all coming out on PC too, though. You're right. I was I was gonna say Returnal, but they announced the PC port of that game at the Game Awards. Oh, I think Final Fantasy VI is a temporary PS5 exclusive. Final Fantasy XVI, I mean. It's on PC too. Never mind. It's on P it's on all next gen. It's just coming on PlayStation first. I'm not I'm not getting on PlayStation. No, I'm gonna get on PC. 
Yeah, F mods. Mods BB. That game has like an all-star developer cast. I can't wait for it. I'll be very, very shocked if it's not like anything less than excellent. As long as it's not like, um, like 15. It's being made by a lot of the 14 people and also the combat designers for Devil May Cry 5. Which that's a good, that's a good, that's a good get. I'm so excited for that game. Because like, that's the way Final Fantasy should be. Final Fantasy 15 was like more towards like the machines, like the mecha. I mean, but, so was Final Fantasy 6. Yeah, they tried to take a Final Fantasy 6 take, but like, it was better in 6, you could suplex a train. Yeah, they should bring that back. In the, in the Final Fantasy 6 remake for PC, the, su the train when you suplex it does not get flipped upside down. Lame. Unplayable. Yeah, I know. This is... Wabat is kind of back into a corner here, but... Wait a minute. Oh, no, no we got clipped. Had no. the ledge a little too long. PK Kid Jank, you know how it, how it be. Oh, I think one of the Spider-Man games is still PS5 exclusive. I think the Miles Morales one. It's on PC. Never mind. Uh... Yeah, no, no, there's really no really no big need to get a PS5. Unless they reveal Devil May Cry 6 for whatever reason. No, it hasn't even been 10 years yet. You're right, you're right. They're also working on Dragon's Dogma 2. That game was hard. Yeah, it was made by the Devil May Cry people. It's like Dark Souls hard. It came out before Dark Souls, I think. Or at least around the, actually around the same time. It's also full of Berserk ripoffs. Is it? Yeah. They're, they're super unapologetic about it, just like Dark Souls. They're like, hey guys, have you read Berserk? We have. And they should. It shouts to Armored Core, though. FromSoft finally making another game that's not a Souls game. Good for them. Even though all the all the interviews about the game are just people are asking, like, are you going to make it like Souls? And they're like, no. It's Armored Core 6. It's going to be like Armored Core. Armor Core is kind of like Mech Assault, right? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a mech game for freaks, yeah. Oh, oh what was that? Wow. Jeez. Simply just don't beat it. What was that? Um, there was a game. Oh my goodness. Still, still living. Not. What was that? Wait a minute. Oh, Wombat almost had like a really good gimp there. No, but the upbeat hitbox on the PK kids just lasts so long. It's very hard to edge guard it. You need like the slowest of slow getups. Now there's a Wombat's tournament stock, but we see him done crazier things before. Oh yeah. Shadowhawk really like this is much different. Look, this is a much more like lopsided kind of set than uh, the first one. Actually, Wombats, they've kind of exchanged roles from the game four of their last set. Yeah, you're right. Where Shadowhawk had to make that comeback, but now Wombat's in that position. But does Wombat have it? Oh, let's go ledge. Maybe uh, respecting the uh, the rocket too much. Ledge is that a, broken. Was, it, was that a jab? A full jab from Squirtle, I see? Yeah, it was a jab. Uh, not quite gonna kill too low that will though. Jeez, Louise. Wombat has to play two perfect stocks in a row. Can he Wa do it? I believe. I definitely do. Uh, Wombat does need to have like an incredible stock here if he wants a chance to stay in this. Down smash? And this oh. is the beginning? Squirrel's damage output is just not as good as like, you know, Lucas's. Yeah, Lucas... Lucas can put out so much damage, has... A lot of good kill confirms, and a lot of good kill moves. That being said, he's still alive. Never say never, uh, never. <laughs> I'm gonna get my food, I'll be back. All right. Good stuff to Shadowhawk. Uh, great stuff to Wombat. Uh, respectable run, honestly. Ah, uh, yeah, I already tell him to sit down. You know what time it is. We got a we got a classic here. I think. Maybe.
Never mind. Oh, actually, no, this is still a classic. I thought it was Artie versus uh, Shadowhawk, but no, it is a uh, is a rematch. Yeah, yeah, it's that time. It's that fucking time. Joke's on you, Will. I'm going home. Yeah! I have I have my job in the morning. Cringe, cringe. I got employment scheduled for nine. Cringe, cringe. Yeah, you're right. But now I can say I commentated tonight, you know? That gets you a free water. I mean, I, I also was TOing the entire bracket. I've already got my free drink, I don't care. Fair enough, fair enough. Make sure that, may, hey, all of you out there who go to locals, make sure you thank your production team and your TOs. No, and... you smell bad. Oh. And Dom admits grease. And I don't care which local you're at, make sure you thank Duel. Uh, that's important. Just a Duel. It was just his birthday. Happy related to Duel. Uh, you know, I just, damn. This has become the I Miss Duel uh, podcast. Tune in next week where we uh, miss Duel. I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> be there or be square, because if you're, if you're not there, you'll be around. Huh. Interesting. Uh, penis. It's very true. Anyways, alright, so Kyle's... I'm not even on the couch. Kyle's kind of popping off right now. We're gonna, we're gonna, never mind, everybody's getting forward aired and forward aired and forward aired. And... Oh, he went for it. Sure did. This is not an optimal way to commentate, but we're out here vibing. Oh, hell yeah. Kind of, kind of dancing around. All right, I'll commentate exactly one game. Hell yeah, you can't stay away. Then I actually it's already 10:45, and I have a 35-minute drive home. Let's go. Let's go. I, oh, oh, only a 35-minute drive home. Shut up. Oh. So uh, Ryan getting stepped on. That was an even game. It almost wasn't. Yeah, the bracket left is literally just. Bobby babysitting the two kids. <laughs> hey, Hakeem 3 0 him. Well, Hakeem goes crazy. Yeah. You see his outfit, dude? He's nuts. He's, he's, got, he's got that uh that, that sitcom dad fit. <laughs> he's got that 9 to 5 fit. Yo, he held that man. Ooh, that was so clean. Look at him go. It was a suit. Their last set earlier in the tournament was super close. Yeah, I watched that from that TO desk. It was really close. Ryan was cooking. <laughs> I hated that. You did, you know. Yeah, that was a set that I said that if uh, Ryan won the set, I could kiss you on cam. And then he lost. It should have been me! <laughs> <laughs> I just love the meme of uh, of Luffy. <laughs> he says, yeah, he ain't cooking shit. <laughs> yeah, he ain't cooking shit. <laughs> Anyways, this is actually a big I like that lead. other meme of Luffy where, you know, he has the... Yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen this one. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Well, doing advanced sign language to Ben. It's crazy how no one else saw that but me. Uh... <laughs> All right, bet Justin. I'll go Photoshop that in a minute. Ooh, the big boy back here. He's gonna play this dummy safe though. He is in kill percent of a lot of things. Yeah, he down air can spend can sp uh, spell doom. Uh, also, he might just die. Or, or that, yeah. Oh, we're living. Uh, he's not living well. Uh, now he's dead. Or is nah, he? Nah, that wasn't a charge up smash. Oh my god. No. What was he cooking? What was he cooking? Does he know? Does he know? <laughs> I hate that one. <laughs> <laughs> I hate video essay clickbait thumbnails, man. What does he know? All in his head? <laughs> Fucking stop. <laughs> Gonna do 186, dude. Uh, you know, average Charizard stock. This is That'll dead. do it. All right. All right, taking the first game here. Yeah. Kind of a shades of the first set. Pretty solid first game from Ryan. Anyways, with that, I gotta go home. GG, shake my hand. GG. This is truly one of the brackets of all time. Exactly. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, the hog ever. Uh, you're, you're all getting smooched in my heart. See you later. Hell yeah. Have a safe drive home, gamer. You, 
The secret handshake. You have to do the secret handshake. There you go. All right, we got a we got a hot one here. All right, I think the first stock here. Shadow Hawk killing him. That's a dead Charizard. Perfectly even as all things should be. the edge guard here. Very strange clank. Much, much more a uh, Kyle side of game here than the previous one. Kyle like not taking any like chances here. Like, you know, textbook Charizard play. Grab him, kill him, throw him off the stage, kill him again. Look at Dom and his pigtails. Look at Dom emitting the, his, his classical Dom grease. Oh, it doesn't get the spike and doesn't kill either, but. Oh, he was set up in a good position, but Kyle forces his way back on stage with the back air. Up he had a shield. Oh, back air barely off the mark, but... Oh, they're just, you know, ping pawning back, back and forth off the stage. Yeah, that's a dead Lucas. This is very, uh... Ball is very much in Kyle's court here. Uh-oh. Yeah, and just like that. Very dominant game from Kyle here. Evening up 1-1. One, one. Nice pigtails. Dom's tall. Going to Smashville game three here. One apiece, four stocks here. Oh, but you were, you were in jab territory, now die. Uh, yep. Yeah. Kyle's so on point with those down airs. In a loser's bracket, Kyle is a different beast entirely. Cold calculated. Somehow didn't grab the ledge there, so back to even. Ooh. Narrowly avoids the down air, but gets ledge hogged anyway. Kind of a, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Kyle, plenty of time to mount a mighty lead. A double bear kills early. Looking at another three shot here for Kyle. Uh oh. He went for it and that was brutal. Kais sending a message in that game three. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So true, Motobug. That was fucked up. Oh, meanwhile, uh, Shadowhawk doing like the nastiest combo you've seen in your life. Oh, he he almost like just went insane. Just when you think you're out, you're in. It seems like uh, Shadowhawk took that one personally. Or uh. still living. Yeah, really, uh, looks like Bobby took that one on the chin. Uh, 196% Charizard. Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're dead. All right, really good start here from Shadowhawk. He, man, he took that last stock last game personally. So true, Justin. So true. Ooh, yep. Got a nice chunk of extra damage on Bobby there, but this could all go away within a grab. Or a jab. Or anything, really. Bobby is quite good at getting uh, very good conversions. But, wow, the DI. Toss will take it. Ryan staying ahead in this game four. Wants that game five. Ryan just all over Kais now. Oh wow, goes for the point. And despite Kyle's mightiest efforts, gets hit by the up smash. All right. Never count Kyle out, but this is quite the lead here for Ryan. Ooh, yep. Kyle could easily just do that again, so Ryan's got to watch out. Hell yeah, Mole Drifter, hell yeah. All right, this is big for Ryan. Gets the spike hitbox, but Kyle lands on stage and doesn't really get a convert, uh, an extension off this. Good landing there, but Kyle uh, blitzing his way back on stage. That's not quite dead, but I don't, I don't know if, uh, yeah, no, doesn't make it back from this. All right, are we witnessing, are we going to witness some highway bobbery? This big, not quite going to kill. Cars are a little hard to kill off the top of that back air. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But... And he's dead. All right. Oh, man. Shadowhawk was feeling that. We got a game five. In losers. In not grand final. So this is, uh, this is for quite a bit of marbles.
Hawk, Shadow, yes. Quite the opening here from Bobby. Only 20%. So uh, Charizard's got a lot of life in him, so. But. Oh, the. The back air pixels away. This is, this is unfortunately for Shadowhawk, looking like a Bobby game. It's just business. That's like so many stocks gone to the. That's two stocks gone to the downer now. No, don't do it again. Bobby's a monster. Good bait on the grab. Not the greatest uh, combo though. Downer a little off the mark. I've never, I've, you rarely ever see that animation from Charizard because Bobby rarely ever uh, misses that, uh, what you call, uh, platform cancel, but uh, Shadowhawk's gonna have to, oh no, what? Sh Shadowhawk's gonna have to draw out inner strength like no other. He's gonna need to have a perfect stock here. That, yeah, that's a dead, dead Lucas. And Bobby, after another very, uh, very, like, eventful set, uh, will be double elim eliminating Shadowhawk. And working towards that run back with Akeem. You know what they say, it's just business. I, uh, I don't know who's up next. Uh, I hate start GG with a burning passion. Every bone in my body. Signing up for Frosty Faustings was agonizing, to say the least. All right, so I, I believe that would be Grand Finals. It was a, not the biggest bracket today, but like an incredibly stacked one. All killers. You know, I said I wasn't going to commentate today because, like, I, <laughs> I commentated so long yesterday at Alt Hog. Yet here I am, commentating the entire tournament again. All right. Grand Finals, game one, going to Smashville here. Uh, or is this a butt check? Uh, it seems to be a butt check. All right, now we're now we got the real deal. And uh, I've I, I linked, and uh, you know, something must have been wrong. He must have just started with like three socks. It's fine. All right, let's see the punish on the whip up B. Uh, eh, it was there. Those are for PK pulse for flash. Oh, what the Nair! Keep leaving it right back up, saying, I don't need it. That was a really good defensive magnet. Keem suddenly 
despite the rough opening here, is up a stock on top. Oh, what are these bears? Riding the fair plane, like, hit him with like four or five. Came up three socks to one against uh, against Bobby here. But you know, you can never count him out. There's always a possibility of prison bobbery. Next thing you know, you know, you think you're like, you know, on the top of the world, three stock lead. You get grabbed twice and suddenly, uh, you know, you're on your last legs. And Kais is down. Kais plays like kind of unreal. This is a big grab though. Not much off it though. Still though, 103%. Oh, this is scary. Oh, but got hit by the thunder. Going to FD here against an S. Interesting. Although, like, you know, Charizard can also just completely mess a character up on this stage. Oh, Keem's there, Tesla. Uh, you, you know, Tesla, I think you're muted. I right, take a seat, Domlex. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. Your call is being forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. My Dom doesn't even want to sit on my lap. What a coward. Someone banned Tazlik from the chat. Yeah, this is a uh, this is looking like a like a, like a, like a Bobby world, like Bobby's world here. I do love the Zard walk though. Yo, know, it's hard it's hard to name a move that I find funnier than Nest Down Tilt. He just he just t takes his little foot and just starts going. Someone's uh, Gatorade bottle just broke a cold around here. Let's do that there. That's not dead, but uh, yeesh. This is also not dead, but still yeesh. Yeah, it's not a kill, but good damage nonetheless. That's a that's a super ten miss. They're not gonna kill. This is a really rough spot for a uh, game to be in. Even with a like Bobby takes leads so well. But wait a minute. Oh, he rolled. That would have been so good if that killed. Downer's out of the jab combo, actually. Forcing another chance at life here. Up air, not gonna kill. Charizard, big TM.
back throw will kill. Barely. All right, Akeem still in this, only 47%. Uh. Unfortunately, you're also off stage against Kais. And forward tilt's gonna take it. Almost though. Kais getting one on the board. Doesn't wanna doesn't wanna leave without that reset. We'll do whatever it takes. Reset Kais is a, is a scary, scary player. Swatting Ness away like a fly. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a dead, dead Ness. Ooh. Unfortunate SD there. Keep shaking his head. Bobby sitting on the top of the world here right now, despite being losers. Does get the kill. Still the whole stock down. Not where you want to be. Like the, ide the ideal versus Kai's match would be to take the lead against him and run with it, but far, far easier said than done. And back, back at this, uh, back at this place again. Silent Hill, also known as uh, the Ledge against Kyle. All your worst fears come to life. Goes for the sneeze, kind of an awkward punish there. Came back to bite him a little bit, but you know, when you're up a sock like this, you can you can afford uh, afford stuff like this. It's in the budget. Ooh, miss input there. Stocks are even, but uh, never mind. Air combo gets the uh, the light to sneeze. And yep, another down air. Kais looking at looking at reset with hungry eyes. He's got a fork and knife. Going to Mel Cavern game game uh, game four here, and just kind of stomping on Ness's head. I I miss I I misread that as weird. I'm like I don't know this this is this seems pretty normal for Bobby, but yeah no he's wired. The spacing, using all those Charizard normals to their greatest potential here. And just like, when Bobby's like playing, like in his like, oh, not on point with that meter cancel, but like, I was saying you know, when Bobby's like playing at his peak, like it, 
He's just everywhere at once. Like it's impo it's imp looks impossible to deal with. But Hakeem's uh, Hakeem's fighting back here. You know, clawing at him. Going for another down air there, but you know. You'll 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 rarely see uh, Kai Smash up a uh, an early uh, uh, mind monkey that meteor cancel like that. So he has found a way to kind of even this up. Uh, not anything off that down throw though. That could have been big. just harassing with that forward air and it's been working and it got the kill and suddenly sitting in the lead here a uh, bit of a reversal here this is a big grab oh this combo even baits out the get up attack but uh, back air sends the wrong way that's tragic lucky though not as bad as it could have been Porter just barely killing. All right. And just like that, a game five here. The team looking to slap that reset right out of Bobby's hands. They're taking the food out of his mouth. Uh, say the line. Fake. Meanwhile, uh... Ooh, yep, we gotta take that. King has a definite uh, percent lead. Uh, but on a uh, on Greenland here, or not Greenland, Dreamland. This is it's it's uh you got to work a little harder to kill the Charizard. Ness will also get the benefit of uh, living longer here, and you know Ness a bit w weightier than it might lead on to. That was an incredibly good down there. Back throw will kill. Why, hello there, gamer. We have the one only Wombat. Well, howdy. Okay. We've got quite a grand finals going on here. Yes, we're in game five. I noticed there was only one commentator. I was like, that's messed up. You know, I, I, was, I wasn't even planning on commentating today. And you just showed up and you sat here the entire time. Yep. Because like, I commentated for five straight hours yesterday at all. Because it was a big day there. Hakeem is up two stock. Hakeem is up one stock. One stock. stock. <laughs> Still up a stock nonetheless. Yes. Which Try is this. a lead, despite what anyone tells you. Yeah, despite despite being against Kyle, it's still technically a lead. Gang, that's the stomp in the yard here. Trying to rip that reset right out of Kyle's mouth. Yeah, he's not having it. He's trying to go home. He has work tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah, imagine that, having some sort of job tomorrow, like me. So we're a half hour from, I, I, have, a bit, I have a big carpool here. So I drove Zubat, I drove Hakeem, and I drove Isaac. Oh yeah, you drove Isaac? Yeah, uh, so I gotta drive a half hour back, 
to Isaac, then two hours to Hakeem, and then like 45 minutes to Zubat, and then 40 minutes back to my house. Long day for all of us. Uh, Hakeem Zubat. is one stock away oh from God. taking it. He could just do it. It's three stocks to one, but you know, you know how it is. Sometimes Tice you just, just turn into rip a person your dreams you apart. hate. Yeah, you also sometimes just turn into a person you hate when you're up two stocks. Yep. It can all just melt away in a second, like tears in the rain. Yeah, and Smash is like unique in the sense of like a fighting game where you could just accidentally kill yourself. Yeah, there aren't too many fighting game characters that can kill themselves. Not a zero amount, but not not many. Like there are characters that damage themselves, sure, but like Faust from Guilty Gear can kill himself. Uh, Dan can almost kill himself in Marvel 2. Uh, Dan can bring himself to one life point by uh, doing his so Raging can, Demon. So can Android 18. Yeah, Android 18 can also do that. Which is essentially killing yourself. Very much. Because Chip kills in that game, doesn't it? In Marvel 2, yes. In Dragon Ball, no. Fuck. Just one back air, or maybe even an up air at this point will do it. Oh! Uh, but he made oh. it back! And he SDI'd fantastic. And he avoided the uh, he avoided the forward air. Wait a minute. Is this it? And the up air will there take it, it and he pops off. Good pop off. Hell yeah, he's Excellent done it. Form. <laughs> and Hakeem, despite you know his absence, is your hog burn 3.24 champion. Yeah, definitely a good set. I was happy to see him take the dub. I'm glad I got to witness that game five. And I Hell believe yeah. he knocked Kais out of winners as well. That's a double elim. So a double elim. Not many can people, not many can say that. I got double elim by Shadowhawk. That is two of the three times Shadowhawk has ever beat me. Yeah, but they were both really good sets. They were, ver they were very good sets. I was having a lot of fun. Hell I yeah. I think the second one was a better set than the first, but let's talk to Hakeem instead. Hi, Akeem. <laughs> it happened. Do you want to do the honors? Yeah, I think yeah, I think Dom does it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Then this has been Wombat on the mic for like a fifth of that set. This was me on the mic for everything. Literally uh, everything. My butt Nothing. will be like immortalized in this couch for all of time. It's messed up. It really says a lot about our society at Hog. Oh yeah, you know I commentated for five hours yesterday and burned out. I think I'll, I don't think I'll commentate today. Commentate the entire tournament anyway. You know, this is the first time uh, at, this year I took a shit at Hog and I didn't tweet about it. What are you doing? I tweet about how nice the bathrooms are. You, you, you got a quota to fill. You're right. I think Dom made a tweet of me DMing him that I can't come to a set because I'm shitting. You know, when you you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. All right. Well, well, yep. We'll see you guys. I'm signing off.
Hi guys. I am plugged on. Um, Brad. Can gamers hear me or no? Grub. What's up? Are you quiet? Hold on, sorry. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Okay. Um, who can't hear you, I don't think. Talk? No, I can't. Oh, I can't hear either of you. Did you fuck something up? Where's Artie? Let me go get Artie. All right, they're getting Artie to fix the mics. Uh, are they muted? I didn't touch anything. Dom was the only one touching shit. And before that, I could hear at least one of the mics. All right, get in here. Yeah, I can't hear the mics. Can you hear me? No. Ah, here we go. Hi, there we go. Hi, hi. Got it. Hey, fuck you. What do I do? Okay. Um, from the porcelain throne to the leather throne, Jesus I wanted to Christ. congratulate you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get to see any of that, uh, any of that, uh, game, because, yeah. uh... It was game five. Um, I had a calzone. A calzone to pass. I had a whole calzone today. Yeah, you had to deliver, right? Oh, yeah, I had a calzone today, and it sucked. It sucked ass. Bro. Like, really bad. I'm there? like, dude, like, come on. Up like, there? Um, yeah, like next to my job. Oh, no, this calzone is gone. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't know what they're doing. Um, yeah, so like, honestly, I did not think I would win, much less. I honestly, I thought I was gonna get stopped by Shadowhawk. Yeah. Like, with Shadowhawk, the way Artie was playing, I was like, oh god. <laughs> like, it may, like, maybe him, or like, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been, like, playing. Did you start respecting his pressure more, Artie? Towards the, towards the end of the set? Is that what it was? Or what do you think it was? I was trying to get used to like how he was trying to overshoot on me. Artie's really smart. I'm not sure if he watches the VODs. But, oh, yeah. Or, but like, and you know, there's another DJC menace around. But like, maybe he's like learning to like overshoot. I, I felt like the biggest thing he learned was to overshoot actually. And like, he was interrupting a lot of my aerials because like, um, especially Nessus wants to play that like space game of like you're gonna come here, so I'm gonna back air you, so DGC back air this space. Um, if you just overshoot, you're probably gonna hit me because I gotta waste a lot of frames jumping this way and then jumping backwards and then my back air, right? Whereas like you just run in dash attack and then like and, and he did that a couple times. I'm like damn, that's crazy. Um, so I was just trying to really get used to like calling out how he overshot um, or what he was trying to do. Yeah. Um, and I also felt like my I started punishing him, like harder. Like I got a, one really good punish. So I was like, okay, that's how it goes. Um, I don't even know what to really even talk about because I mean, 
you've been relatively absent from the scene for a little while. Yeah, I'm um, Life John's. Yeah. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna have a car soon. So that'll be good. Next week? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm, I'm trying by January. I really wanna make it to Lake George and just like, well, that's not all you want. But like, but I, yeah, it would be ideal if I can drive my own ass to Lake George. Oh, I'd be so pissed. Playing vibe and die parrying the card the whole time, <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So like, I don't know because I wasn't around. I didn't think I was gonna do that well, and I felt like since I haven't been laughing like that, um, like at home even, I'm like, oh god, I'm so rusty. And my controller didn't work. I had to use a sub controller. Yo, shout out to Isaac because he had a, uh, a spare controller with bald buttons, and low key I was scared. If someone gave me like, uh, like non bald buttons at this point, I'm just like, oh no. I, I can't we're, go back. We're Isaac's kids, I swear to God. Dead ass. I, was, I, was like, I said to him, uh, how does it feel to be a freaking, like, <laughs> like a wrangler of idiots? <laughs> um, Dom, more like, mom. Don't, don't, don't interact with Justin Hampton. He's banned. He's banned! If, if you're lucky, you're lucky Pat's not back there. Pat would've <laughs> already had you removed. I'm surprised you're even ty you can even type. Uh, I thought he already shadow banned all your accounts, like when he was with Marshall. Oh my god. I love, I love Arsenal's. Um, I can't wait to see Arsenal's at back hit in March. Oh, back hit? Mm -hmm. I've been gone so long, I have no idea what that is, genuinely. <laughs> wow. Let me let me give you the rundown of events happening pretty soon. Um, I'm planning on doing a monthly in January, probably the week before Joey's birthday bash. The second Ooh. one, 27th. Um, that weekend of January is Joey's birthday bash. Then the week after is Lake George, I'm pretty sure. Really? All in yeah. January? Yeah. So Lake George and Frosty Fostings happen at the same time. Oh, Then okay. after that is the back hit on the 26th of March. And that's in... Tell me, is it Platino or is it Dallas? I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I think it's where, where, where Shipwrecked was. Uh, I could be wrong, but the wonderful Stude is doing it. I love Stude. Like Stude. God, I love Stude. And um, I can't wait to be squeezed to death by a giant seven-foot man. Yeah, he's really a giant. Like, I don't know, I'm six foot. That's not like he super gives the tall. Best hugs. But like, I look up at that. Mm. He does get the best hugs. Yeah, he gets the best hugs. <laughs> oh man, what else is going on? I don't know how much more has been announced, so I'm not going to go off, but 2023 is looking like a, a killer year to play yeah. PM. Well, hopefully I can be back around. I hope so, more. too. Yeah, me too, like, really. There's um, a lot more... Um, I missed top 50 this year because, like, you know, I had to get my life together, like, towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I don't know. Really, like, I'm not mad about it in the sense of, like, you know, some people. <laughs> but, like, uh... Like I'm not mad about it, but it's more like next. It just makes me know it's possible, and next year I could do it. I just need to show up. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty dominating statement, right? Not play that. Well, not, I don't want to say not playing because you do play. You feed. You're, you're a net play grinder at heart. But coming back to in-person events and, I mean, winning the event with a ton of competition. This is probably one of our most stacked hogs we've had in the last couple of weeks. Oh shit, you're right, because there's. Yeah, holy shit, yeah, um, Sandy, mm -hmm. um, Wombat, Zubat, Toonie's back around. Toonie, yeah, Toonie's been um, coming around here and there. Um, um Shadow yeah, Hawk. that's a Sandy? Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Shadowhawk. Hawk. Um, who else was here? I guess me and Kyle, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. Like, think about that. That's like six very strong contenders. Um, nice. Let alone the usual suspects. Um, I didn't even make top eight. Really? Zubat. Yeah, I was. Oh, I, I got. I got ninth. I lost to Zubat. Yeah, Zubat is scary. It's funny because Zubat, like, like he, his secondaries are so. He has like sometimes like a bad mentality, and especially against me or like mess players. He's like really just like checks out mentally. Mm -hmm. But like, he's really like out of a lot of opponents, he's like one of the scariest for me because it's like I played him when he's like when something clicks for him or like. Once he actually starts to get used to me and he's not in his head. Like, when I play him, when he knows, when he's used to the matchup and he didn't, like, let himself get mad off of a stupid down air, he's really scary. Because then he starts doing really scary, like, precise egg mm -hmm. stuff that's just call-outs of my habits. Yeah, and I'm just exactly. like, fuck, dude. Like, I can't even move anymore. It, what was crazy about Zubat's... Zubat was playing secondaries, but I think he told me he wants to start playing more Diddy. 
Um, it was just scary. Like, once he got you in the air, you were a shark forever. Yeah. Like, his his uh, banana game was really strong. And, you know, like, Diddy's has really strong normals. Like, absurdly really strong, strong normals. Game. And he very rarely missed the punish. Like, and it, with Diddy, it's easier yeah. said than done. Just, like, just it's funny having like, an actual punish. <laughs> with, um, with Zubat, too, like, you know, um, he's, like... What Zubat will do really well, especially if he's like knows you or like he's in your head and you tap it. What he'll do is like he will start to like like F smash in the opposite direction and you always get hit by it. It's a little odd. Who is this weirdo? <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> um, this is the best I miss interview CT. of my life. <laughs> I miss CT. Um, anyways, well, um, other than that, oh, come I here. put it on your bag. Come here. Come here. Uh, I don't know. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Move over. Move over. Move over. Uh, move over. Yo, what's good? I got <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Hi, Isaac. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think Isaac worked on exactly like seven controllers today. Right, our in-house mechanic for no reason, <laughs> right? Like, thank you, Isaac. Everyone say thank you, Isaac. Honestly, break. nah. Y'all need y'all need to start paying for a subscription, yearly subscription for this man. Dude, you'd be so rich <laughs> if you had like, an actual you. yearly subscription. I, I wouldn't do that. For twenty dollars a year, he will fix your controllers at least three times. Anything more than that is an extra forty. For our premium package of fifty dollars, not only will he fix your controller, he will do light IT work and tell you how to fix your damn controller yourself. Cause what the hell? <laughs> Where's the boss? So, Hakeem, uh, are you are you trying to uh, become my agent by any chance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go find him. He, he got pulled. Uh, he got pulled away because. Yeah, Sandro hasn't had his controller touched since t literally 2014, and he's like, I, I, I don't Dude, work anymore. I can't move right. And, 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 it's and, funny because like the way Isaac's I think problem. <laughs> the way I think of Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Here's how I think of Isaac. It's gonna sound really stupid. I don't give a fuck. So, I think of Isaac kind of how like the the Straw Hats like thought about like having a ship right, right? Where it was just like, oh yeah. We need that, it, cause like before that, like when I think about it, we were a bunch of freaking baboons. We like feel... if the controller stopped working a little bit, we go, oh, it's not working, and then throw it away and buy another one. And then like Isaac can't just wait goes, till we get a musician. <laughs> what? I can't wait till we get a musician, bro. Oh it's my god, <laughs> like a DJ gonna be every event. Crazy. <laughs> Dude, yeah. We're gonna have theme songs. Oh, I'm no. gonna show up with a fucking straw hat one day and just be like, you music now. You music now. That's what it. Like I don't know, dude. Yo, shout out uh, to Isaac. Shut the they fix like everything. <laughs> like, it literally is broken. Um. Oh fuck. I I don't know if we did your pronouns right today. Did you sign up on Smash G? It's funny because like I yeah I don't put on Smash G. <laughs> you should do that. Start putting on Smash G. Eh, I feel like it. <laughs> um. What I was gonna say was like uh, bracket was weird because like already. Artie's gonna get really fucking He's good. Already. Like, if all of his experience is just us, if he just went to actual majors. I told him what a blacklist did, and I told him he would make it out of pools. Yeah. Like, without a, without a second thought. Yeah. And, and blacklisted pools were death pools. I'm like, if you didn't run into an Olimar or a Squirtle, you win. Yeah. You win the whole bracket, actually. I'm sorry. Yeah, you win the whole bracket. Free. Um, uh, like, it. Like, the only players that, like, I feel like already actually has to worry about are actual top 50 players. Like, if you are top 50 or were top 50, then it's like, okay, you have to worry. But, like, I can see, like, already just plowing through, a, like, a lot of people, at least in a bracket, like, in the before um, pools. I want already to play more, but he's very focused on melee, which I respect the talk. Yeah, I respect the hell out of it. It's just, it's also nice to see, like, um, I really like that, um, 
essentially like the crossplay between both games because there is you know yeah, i mean like you, you can't right it and not. it's really funny like seeing how like melee players problem solve and then like when brawl players used to be around more like back in like 3.0 and shit like how they used to problem solve as well it was like super different but then like watching melee players pick up this game especially when they're good in melee mm -hmm. and like and watch it if they're good at adapting and problem solving like just truly bye, bye merry bye. christmas thank you for the kiss <laughs> Drive safe, guys. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah. So like, what are we talking about? Brawl players. Oh yeah, yeah. Brawl players. Like they played super. Um, brawl players. I remember the, their thing was they they never let you land. They always shark the hell out of you. Um, but like yeah, watching the way yeah I remember now watching the way melee players that are really good at adapting problem solve PM is so interesting to watch. It's like so interesting to watch and it's scary because like you give them like a, like a couple tournaments and then they're like like three's levels like better than they were last time it's like dude chill like yeah, like chill go back to melee please we were having fun we were having fun yeah but i mean a lot of this a lot of the male players play spaces and that's like a whole nother ball game like if you if you should like a, a chic player a melee chic player or a melee peach player like i feel like it's way different like I don't know, like for instance, like a Sango. Sango is a fox player, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sango doesn't play fox in this game. Yeah, because it's like it's really different. It's like how do I put it? Um, like it's substantially just, different. Just yeah, like just for the fact that like there are different weight classes you have to like actually consider in terms of like how you combo and approach them, That's right? Like the there's there's not as much like floaties or mid weight characters in melee that you have to actually like worry about. It's like super fast fallers, super floaty, um, falcon I guess because semi. Right. Um, well, Falcon's heavy, right? Falcon's like not as heavy as Fox in that game, but still like. Oh no, Falcon! Falcon's a semi in that game. I think he's. I think he's semi. I. I don't. I don't he's know. Like, don't... He's. He's faster or, or fatter in this game for yeah. sure. He's heavier. Yeah. Um. um like, yeah, like it's definitely like a different ball game, and also there's completely different tools, like just toolkits. But like I always argued that a lot of the PM like gimmicks, as they were, or like the 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 kits of characters. They're really like a lot, like a lot of them, right? Not everyone, but like they're really like um, melee tools you already know, just like repackaged, right? Like, um, like Ivy's back air is like it's just like I, at one point I just started treating it like early on as like a Marf double fair. Do you mention Ivy Sore? Fuck you, Justin. <laughs> Fuck you, Justin. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Hi, Justin. Biggest fan. Um, Fuck you. I like how you flipping your phone. I just beat you flipping your phone the yeah, whole bro, time. I've been doing that the whole time. Um, I like ponytails. <laughs> Fuck you, Justin. <laughs> Justin. Um. Uh. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Tournament hard, game hard. Surprise, I'm true. here. True. Um, All true. Very true. Very true, very true. Um. Looking forward to being around more if I can. And you that's the cue, I guess. You should come down more, dickhead. Fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest in you. You're gonna have a dom uh, sponsor tag by the end of a the dom week. sponsor tag. I'll the, literally fly out to the KOF dom friggin' collab. <laughs> KOF, yeah, I'm not, cause I'm not KOF. God no! That's not, that's that's literally like we have we have the iceberg like the like the CT iceberg meme. That's all the way at the bottom. You're never seeing that shit. You, no one's ever seeing that shit. But, like what what else is what else is in the bottom of that? Oh my god! They have one thing. I cannot name it on this goddamn stream. <laughs> oh my like, god! Like, 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 let's be honest. Like 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 right above that tier above that is like me and Marshall's rat phase. Me and Marshall, like when, when me and Marshall became literal rats, we still are. Like it hasn't, it, we haven't stopped. Like you, you know how people are doing like those uh, call me by this. Yeah. I'm so tempted to do it because t exactly two people have unironically referred to me as the Rat King. <laughs> like it's not even a joke. People have referred to me as the Rat King, and I've felt fucking. It, like, I've never felt so elated before. Like, I, I thought about changing my tag, like to the Rat King, like actually, so like the I'm, Rat like, King, all hail the Rat King. <laughs> First of his name. I can't. <laughs> Bro, I I have to, I have to commit, I have to do the. It, it, it might it might be in the future.
potentially. Who knows? Oh my God. Um, but I'm not gonna hold you all night. So. Yeah, okay. Thanks for having me, dog. Good, bro. Born on the same day? Good shit? Born on the same what, day. Why tournament win? Can you come to my tournament win? Yeah, me, me. Game's hard, dog. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna kiss Pat Tesnik on the lips. Deadass. Have a good night. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Drive safe.